Welcome back to Bad Movies, Worst People. It's our season break. We're season on break, break for at least guys. a week. Dude, I'm all checked out mentally. <laughs> I, I want to say this is Christmas Hanukkah. Christmas Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Ooh, I like it. It's somewhere around there. I will continue to celebrate none of those. <laughs> we have a previously released episode for you guys. Slightly remastered as much as I could do because it sounded like shit. Hey, I didn't realize what? how bad we sounded early on. Until listening to it after more recent episodes. It's like going back to a home video, though. uh, This this podcast hasn't hit puberty yet. It's like watching Steven Spielberg's home movies before he made Jurassic Park. It's like watching the movies we watch. It's like listening to Steven Seagal before he learned how to whisper talk. (laughs) He (laughs) sounded just like this. (laughs) We were. He sang for Twisted Sister? (laughs) (laughs) To be fair. To be fair. fair. We were in a tiny bedroom. We were. I had this podcast studio set up in a different place. Now it's taking up half my living room. Because my sex whatever. change hadn't taken. Yeah, so Jack sounds like a lady. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I still sound like me. No, I might be drunker. No, I mean, you know. <laughs> this episode that you're about to listen to is nearly three hours long. It's Voyage of the Rock Aliens. We had released it as a two-parter, and I've had... Single digits of listeners ask me to re-release it. <laughs> and I mean, we only have dozens, so there that's are, good. There are almost dozens of people. But they've asked for a full, uncut version. Yes, So I'm going to do that here. Um, but yes, we were talking about the movie for nearly three hours Dude, after we watched hear, it. You're going to hear some gushing. I love this movie. And we were drunk. Yeah. Hector, thank you for asking for this re-release. You are our literal biggest fan. Hector, thanks for listening. Well, did you just call Hector fat? <laughs> you are Never. literally our biggest fan. Like, have you seen the whale with Brendan Fraser? <laughs> Nothing on you, man. Not even close. He's literally, he's our our highest supporter. Like, yes, no, I know what you meant. I'm just a piece. Hector's of keeping it toit. Okay, toit. <laughs> but we're re-releasing this for Hector and for others. Happy and, birthday, and anybody that wants to enjoy. <laughs> so enjoy this episode. We had a great time. Maybe we'll revisit it someday and do it. Um, I don't know more professionally. Not not so drunk. I'll watch it. More again. drunk. All I can say about this recording is we didn't know. We, we didn't, didn't know. know. We, we didn't, didn't know, know at all. all. Oh. So enjoy. Pia Zadora, uh, that guy from Nightbreed. Sure. Some guy named Absid. Uh-huh. And a bunch of other aliens who sing and dance their way through an adventure in Voyage of the Rock Aliens. Woo. Get it. <sighs> Welcome back. I'm Derek. <laughs> I'm Whitney. I'm Patrick. I didn't think it all, Jack. And this is Bad Movies, Worst, worst people. people. I feel deja vu. <laughs> Movie over. Something's about them selling me a song for seven dollars. No, here's your change, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's a little upset because we already recorded about twenty minutes and somehow it got deleted. So now he's in a grumpy mood. So now no, he's grumpy. Now I'm just angry and. The violent. joke was, you said you wanted to see if you could buy one of their songs. Yeah, You'd I, mail I them know. seven dollars, and I said they give you two dollars change back. <laughs> No I know. Overpaying. I was just trying to repeat all the good stuff. <laughs> well, you butchered the, del- the delivery, sir. That's too hot. We obviously <laughs> share different opinions. Get off so the if it sounds weird, Derek and I are currently sharing a microphone. Yes, because I'm on a budget here. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop mailing seven dollars to random bands, dude. <laughs> For their, it might do you better. The budget for this podcast is almost as high as the budget for this movie. Oh, I wish we knew the budget of the movie. I'd like to take a guess. I mean. Two hundred fifty thousand in nineteen eighties money. Nineteen eighty four, two hundred fifty thousand. I was gonna say a hundred thousand. No dollars. <laughs> Pesos, dollars? whole human American dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing because I mean there is production here. You yeah. know there is a shit ton of people in this movie. Yeah, there's a all lot the, of wardrobe all, changes for one person. All the backup dancers, all that stuff, because it's basically a. 70 minute music video with a 27 minute movie attached to it 
I mean, talk about the opening title as you reveal what movie we're even talking about, because I don't think we've said it <laughs> no, yet. No, we haven't this time. It's not worth so, saying. Oh, da, 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 da. All right. <laughs> All right, I got it. So we, we're we talking today about Voyage of the Rock Alien, 1984, directed by James Fargo. Uh, oh, director. Yeah. <laughs> different, don't you know. Different Fargo. Oh, shoot. There's too many Fargos. I can't keep up. Uh, director of uh, The Enforcer, which is the third Dirty Harry movie, uh, Every Which Way But Loose, which also has Clint Eastwood and a monkey. You feel monkey punk? <laughs> Do ya? <laughs> Was it a monkey or an orangutan? It's an orangutan. It is an orangutan. Yeah. It is definitely a Gonna get a, a lot primate. of that in this episode. It's an orange tang. It's <laughs> You're gonna Rema. Rema. A lot of sass. <laughs> uh, also directed Forced Vengeance, Chuck Norris movie. Like I said the first time around, probably gonna do that one on Schlock and Load. It looks awesome. I mean, if, as long as he's either shirtless or shirtless in a vest, I am in on Chucky Nor. Yes. <laughs> I believe he is shirtless. In a hair vest. In a hair vest. In a hair vest. Yes. Okay, yes. good. He has a built-in jacket. I am invested uh, in that movie. What's that guy from like Looney Tunes that's like a big hairball Yosef. thing that oh, looks like no it? Gosmer. Gosmer? Are you know? fucking kidding me? You I'm know not. that character? Absolutely. Yeah, Gosmer, the big red fur with the feet. Yeah. With that's, Marvin that's the Martian. Chuck Norris, he but without like, muscles. He looks like a furry tooth. <laughs> yeah. That's Gosmer. Don't I ask me how I know I that. I didn't know he had a name. Yeah. I, 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 Absolutely. Fact it, check me. Was it Yosemite's tooth that just like ran away from him? <laughs> no, that's what came out of his drain. <laughs> just combing his mustache all Sam Elliott style. That's the movie we need. Is, Our nation. Uh, Gosmer Begins. Yeah, oh, the origins of Gosmer. <laughs> and it's just a whole movie about Yosemite Sam, but every time he's got some killing, killing people, he takes a shower and combs his mustache. <laughs> and at the end of it, Gosmer comes out. It's just as much Gosmer in that movie as there is Chud and Chud. It'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> the mystery, the intrigue. <laughs> so we, go, we open on the credits, Voyage of the Rock Alien, or in our version... God, I still can't remember. When the rain begins to fall? Yes, yes. When the rain begins to fall. Because that's the name of the song. Yes, Jermaine Jackson and P.S. The Doris first song. Movie, music video. Yes. <laughs> very, very important to plot here, people. It yeah. is. It's very important to the plot because it even comes back around to the end of the movie. I think it's the song important. The song. <laughs> song. I think it's important only to the movie because, oh my God, I almost called it Zia. It is Zia. Pia. Pia Zadora. <laughs> Tawana. Zia, Pia. Pia Zadora. Or as Derek said earlier on accident, Penis, Penis Adora, Adora, which is her Greek name. I think I just said Pia Zadora with an S and it all just no, blended together. No, you said Penis. Penis Adora. Okay, no. Yeah. Like I said... That's what I, I want her thinking to thinking adore my penis. <laughs> exactly. Pia Zadora is super hot. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. She... She's from a, the oh my ABCD. I can word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absent, a thousand percent. Uh, no, she looks like she could be the hotter sister of the actress that is in um, Pee Wee Herman. Which that I plays didn't Dottie. Remember her. You didn't remember in that. What else did I say? She voices the Valley Rugrats girl. and she her nips. She's blasting nips in Valley Girl. Fuck That's yes, Valley is. Girl. That's yeah. what I remember her so from. The, the baby face thing doesn't work as you age. Oh no. That's kind of creepy. That looks like I'd that's like a computer that. rendering of John Bonet Ramsey lived. What? Oh my God. <laughs> that I is was, terrifying. Yes. I, was, I was thinking it's like Renee Zellweger was stung by a bee. <laughs> she does fuck is Renee have, Zellweger? Oh, but then there's that picture. That's a good one. I like that oh, one. Oh, yeah. No, Pia Zador's got it going on. Yeah. She is uh, amazing. The songs in this movie work very well, whether it is Rema or it is <laughs> Jimmy and the Mustangs. Or what? it's Pia Zadora and why Jermaine. A, why does Rema sound like you're just trying to say Rima, but like a New Zealand accent? Rema? Rema? <laughs> Can we listen to Rema he? So we have the titles of the movie is how far we've gotten. <laughs> and then we have the spaceship come crashing through it. The spaceship uh, is basically a big electric guitar. Yeah, big big old V, <laughs> flying V number. The first time I saw the trailer, I thought it was like a, a very phallic dick ship. But mm-hmm. then I saw the back end and I was like, oh, those aren't balls unless you know, there's <laughs> I mean, an accident. They're, they're balls of space people. Space you, like, balls. Scratch space and pull balls. down, you could probably make the shape, but I mean. <laughs> so all that stuff, uh, you know, all the effects in this are practical because it's 1984 and this movie has no money. The only non-practical um, is the uh, phasing into the phone booth we'll get to. Yeah, which is still, yeah. I mean, it's old school kind of practical. They have like the the 
they do like a layered on effect, kind of gotcha. like Ghostbusters and stuff. It's it's put onto the film physically. Okay. So like it's not you know obviously they didn't make a big blue glow in person, but it's not like really computer <laughs> enhanced. Like somebody went in there and like made an image on film and then layered those two th- films together. Fair. That's that's good stuff. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> whole thing shows like a lot of good practical it's, effects. It's the same kind of light lighting that's in The Last Dragon when they yeah. start to glow. And I mean, kind of. <laughs> but it's the same like style. Anyway. Uh, what else is the same style as Last Dragon is the way these dudes are throwing kicks. Yeah. Oh and, my in God, this Jermaine so Jackson many. video. Well, first we get the robot on the deck. Let's talk about and, how this is a good movie. It is, <laughs> Patrick is so bitter <laughs> about having to watch this movie once and a half and record the podcast once and a half. <laughs> This is so fucking mad. This is his new favorite thing to do is make this show. He's playing with Pandora's box earlier, and this is what I get. <laughs> this is the, he's like, you know, I could be sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be much more entertaining. But uh, so the, there's this little robot on the deck of the ship. And Dope he's scanning robot. the planets. Yeah. We get Dope the, we get the 11 seconds of narration that never comes back where the guy explains that they're on a, a scientific exploration mission. Because they're obsessed with rock and roll, and they're Imagine trying to a find rock and roll without sight and sound, <laughs> without rock and roll, without rock and roll. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, let's see the examples. Of what we would have without rock and roll? Uh, uh, dimension number one. <laughs> Teldar. Tel Teldar. I don't know how you fucking God, remember yeah. this, dude. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, HP. Nope, not HP Lovecraft. HR <laughs> <Pumpkin> <laughs> stuff. HR Pumpkin stuff. Yeah. Although it was a little yeah. Lovecraft. There's some tentacles later. There was an extending snout in this. Yeah, so. this is the Chuck E. Cheese training video. Just yes, all the animatronics. Yes. They were just learning how to how to give them life. These are the cut ones. And there's like a ballroom dancing scene. It's like a yeah. It's like a Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers musical. It's so fucking it's, white and boring. It's cotillion. Total 1920s cotillion. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the Which more come we back say around. cotillion, the more I just boil, and I'm about to my my body part is are gonna explode off of me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys do everything for attention or something. <laughs> yeah. Some guys will do anything for attention. And then we get to the Jer- planet of Jermaine Jackson. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like Tatooine and... Mad Max. Would you say clans nuns <laughs> <laughs> no, they were wearing like it looked like they were trying to be clan like Ku Klux Klan members but they just didn't have any starch everything's deflated and falling down and it 100% is white dudes versus black dudes yeah. black dudes are wearing like a nice like earth tones and maybe some used like tires as shoulder tires. pads and, they have, like, and then you got these dirt bikers coming in wearing the whitest fucking whites ever like, like all of their accessories their Ku Klux shoes their Casper. bikes yeah, even the bikes I are mean, white. Italian, and then you know, in the early Americas, the whites hated Italians too. Sure. So. Didn't they have like leopard skin spandex on too? Oh, that comes later, buddy. And so do oh, I. I thought that was. There, uh, yeah, I think Jermaine, since some of the guys in Jermaine's Jackson band okay. uh, dance crew <laughs> band yeah. gang, gang. Yeah, sure. They're in his pack, <laughs> in his pack, I think some of them had some some animal print. Yeah, a lot of yeah. a lot of netting. Uh, yeah, so that like the, that vi- music video is, it's, it's it's kind of this movie. It's the lead into the they movie. You have the lead guy who is very much Frankie, the lead character from the movie, and you have Jermaine Jackson, who's kind of an alien, dance fighting <laughs> over Pia Zadora. They yeah, but they have, they're, they have they're a, on a, Earth a already. That's yeah, where no, they're, they're standing. Not on Earth. That's in a different on a different planet. This is yeah. the multiverse. Jermaine here. Jackson's oh. on the different planet. Yeah. So we actually don't know. We did we didn't address this, but is this we don't know if this is. Are Pia Zadora playing Dee Dee, or if a Pia Zadora exists everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. it has to be everywhere. She's too awesome to just stay, stay in one. This is the right. movie. This is the movie. Too many doppelgangers. Yeah, it's the multiverse of Pia Zadora, and everywhere you go to, one of them eventually, she's just going to be a big fat computer programmer who lives in her dad's basement. Was she also? <laughs> and was she sign also, me up for that one. <laughs> was she also dancing in the 1920s cotillion? No, no, I don't no. think that was right. I think that was just she was not invited to that cotillion. Uh, this was I fucking hate that word, dude. <laughs> it's supposed to buy a corsage. I think, I think, I think the name Pia Zadora tells you that she was probably not be invited to any 1950s anything. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> that involved There's a Z in out. your name. You need to get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> so then we see that the the next choice of planets is Earth. Does your name end in a vowel? <laughs> <laughs> Can't have it. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Get her out of here, rabble, rouse. <laughs> and uh, the computer basically says the next choice is Earth. And it says, eh, why not? Why not? Why not? Because the next choice besides that is 2,000 light years away. I actually wouldn't mind that bumper sticker. Earth? 
Why, Why not? not? <laughs> I think that. we should get it. I, I think should get a should... car first. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> well, it makes more sense. Don't you have a couple vehicles? No. Skateboard. I got a scooter. I got a couple of sets of inline skates. <laughs> Are you one of those Boy Scouts for the end of the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find him if he wants to bird watch or something. Hey, mister. <laughs> so the robot has decided, it tells us. <laughs> It talks to itself. The bowling bot. <laughs> yes. Uh, bull- would you say a bowling ball with legs? On a podium with arms. Yes. And I'm, yeah. arms is real generous on that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are two appendages that come off. Those arms are going to be used body. later to squeeze a little cheek. They oh, extend. shit. I just got his name. Sh- what was his name? It's 1379. No, it's not right, though, because there'd be a five. I was like, those are all like prime numbers because they all have alphabet oh. names. I was like, there's got to be a reason. Between well, the one, one, finger three, quote seven, writer nine. of this movie not, <laughs> might not have realized that five was a prime number. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, one, three, seven, nine. Beauty. Are you sure it wasn't one, three, five, seven, nine? No, it was one, three, seven, nine. Because I remember thinking, what the hell is 1379 have to do with anything? This is like eight, 1984. Is that a prime number? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think it is. Okay, 13 to 79. I'm going to have steam come out of my collars. Oh, you know what? Nine's not a prime number. No, it's not. No, it's not. not. But it's odd. So are you. That's fair. So is this movie. (laughs) This movie is No, this movie is You know what else is odd? The blue milk in this refrigerator. Blue milk next to chocolate (laughs) milk. What do you want, dude? Yeah, I would like some bantha milk. Is that what what blue milk is? No, it's from those weird creatures Oh, you can see Mark Mark Hamill milk one. Yeah. Those weird Grab fucking, it by the teeth. Those weird fucking dick ball creatures that just hang out on the beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The they could be called Jackums. <laughs> Jackums. Jackmals. Jacklums. Jacklums. So he has to defrost the crew or thaw out the crew. Dehydrate says. or rehydrate. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're sorting like a six pack of plastic tubes that all have little like fucking spaceman <laughs> Ken dolls in them. And he just dumps them into a fucking like bucket or like a receptacle. <laughs> it's a futuristic microwave, I'm assuming. It's like one of those food things. will travel through pneumatic tubes in the future. <laughs> pneumatic, that's the word I was looking for earlier when I said bank tubes. Bank tubes. Well, I figured bank tubes does the job. Everyone knows a bank tube. Well, if you're listening to this, you probably do your own bucks. <laughs> so yeah, they get dumped in this thing. Oh, why is always picking out a little kid? <laughs> they travel through the pneumatic tubes. There you go. I learned a thing. Today. <laughs> it's not like you relearned it. <laughs> <laughs> and they come, they like they come out of this basically like like playground slide, and it's like made out of reflective material, so you can see them walking up and just like sitting down and then going. This down is this known slide. as a death slide in the summer times of Arizona. <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this back is in gonna, the seventies. This will cook your children. <laughs> yeah, that's I, honestly I think that's why I was looking at it, going, "Who makes a slide out of metal?" And then I was like, "Oh, that's right." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> assholes in Arizona do. I'll tell you that. I remember sliding on that shit. Oh, I've blocked it out. Like a, like a sexual assault. We put right. sand on it. It kind of helped. What? Yeah, you like grab Seems sand terrible. and run it down the slide. And it helped cool I it I think off. it's a joke about using kitty litter as lube. And you're kind of fucking doing it here, pal. This is damn mind blown. It used to help. Do you like the regular stuff? I prefer the gritty kitty litter. Ugh. <laughs> No, sir. I don't like it. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so they, the one guy, the last guy doesn't get defrosted, and so they have to put him through, like, the trash can. Like, they just throw him into a trash compactor, but he mark. comes out anyway. <laughs> There's some great sound effects coming out here, too. Just like, doo. <laughs> they throw him into, like, this, this thing that's right above the slide, and somehow he comes out of the pneumatic tube on the other side of the room again and goes through the slide. It's and for the extra special cases. <laughs> and they're going up to like fly the ship and the robot just like pinches his ass. He's like, get on the Well, first work. he comes out backwards because yeah. oh, he's yeah. wacky. Yeah. <laughs> and isn't it the Patrick Burns? Uh, yes, it is Stovitz. 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 He's the U-W-X-Y-Z. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. trying to spell it how it sounds or how it's spelled. What? Ooh. You have to keep that in. That's for the bloopers. <laughs> that was wonderful. It's like when you sneeze and fart at the same time. <laughs> yeah, because then both things are out of his mouth. Yeah, what if you sneeze and mucus comes out? What happens if you're farting? <laughs> oh, buddy. You're sharting? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck me. I'm the go All right. <laughs> when did you get that operation? <laughs> Just handing out goat asses now? <laughs> so we get to Jack's favorite song of the movie. 
We didn't think it all. <laughs> That's an earworm, I'm telling you. It's it's wonderful. It's in the trailer. So We used to watch old-time movie shows. Yeah. And it's very, it, out of all the songs in the movie, it's the most uh, Rocky Horror, which is clearly like something they're biting for this. Yes. Rock opera. What did you call it? Devo meets Rocky Horror? Yeah, Devo doing yeah. Rocky Horror is yeah. kind of what I, I would say for it. Yeah, and this is this is their version. It's their space it's alien dance rock opera. How they fly <laughs> the ship, the too. Called it. It's How You Fly the Ship is yeah. by singing a fucking song. Which is pretty how cool. How does that song go again? We didn't think at all. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. We, we didn't, didn't know. know. Oh, no. <laughs> Again, Patrick is tortured by this. <laughs> you just hear a gunshot. What Where did he get that what gun? What if you had somebody really shitty and singing? We didn't know. And just go off course. Like, it, 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 you have to sing perfectly to get there? Yes. Hey, you were supposed to sing Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. Why are we in Denver right now? That's how you it's end just... up on HR Puffin Stuff Planet. <laughs> I want to be in Denver. Well, okay. Bad example. Now we're in Yuma. Fuck that. I mean, you literally just ripped that I from did my head. My <laughs> way. Where's the last place on earth I'd want to be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> More human than human. <laughs> <laughs> or they Kingman. Do, they do a lot of psycho hillbillies there. Uh, Yuma's worse. Ooh, meth. Kingman has one decent brewery, at least. <laughs> the, Yuma, and, Yuma and has one terrible brewery. Yep. Okay. Less teeth. Anyway. Yes. So it's more methods. Shots fired so. at places in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I just won't put any stickers in Yuma or Kingman and they'll never find out. I um, hope they do so come the, out of Yuma. <laughs> Next week, we have a listener from Yuma. <laughs> <laughs> we have an email from Yuma that says, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, uh, I get so many of those letters. <laughs> They're signed, usually written by me from the past drunk. <laughs> the email is signed, Methy and Yuma. <laughs> <laughs> meth in you. <laughs> you said Kingman had more meth than us. Go fuck Well, yourself. you know those personals in the back called uh, Meth Connections. <laughs> oh my god, did you I know? I was the that? one taking a shit behind the dumpster. I hope you saw me. I saw you on Tuesday, or it might have been Wednesday, Thursday. Not sure. <laughs> I haven't slept for a week. <laughs> it might have been Thursday, that magic day you find in between Thursday and Friday if you don't sleep for a week. <laughs> Where's that? Fleur Saturday? Fleur's Day. Fleur's Day. Day. It's real. Okay. Like Trust. smarch. Blurred lines? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you only sleep like an hour or two a night, you get an extra day a week. And I've <laughs> named it Fleur's Day. So <laughs> now we're we're landing on Earth. Uh, oh, yes. no. We're getting no. into a fucking telephone booth. Well, yes. That is... Right before they get in the telephone booth, we see the beach, though. Just the acid oh, beach. Yeah. I oh, just yeah. have to mention, the water is unusable. It's acid, acid water. Beach. There's a sign that says no swimming, no singing, no, no swimming, no... Sharking, no fishing, no sharking. No, no, sh no sharking? <laughs> I think it said Who that. Who the fuck? First of all, what is sharking? And who's doing it at a lake? You do it in the Why lake. isn't it on Shark well, Week? <laughs> see, this this town exists after Sharknado, so sharks have landed in their lake. Everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> They've adapted to a freshwater system. So it's just, it's like, no this, no this, no this, no this. Anything no to do with kidding. water and then... Kidding. No kidding. Yeah, the the guys, signs are funny in this movie. They are. Yeah, they, the the prop department did a good job. There's yep. there's a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff like the the name of the 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 fucking local teenage soda hangout jerk, wherever they yeah. hang out. Yeah, yeah, the local teenage local hangout. Local teenage hangout. Local teenage hangout. But <laughs> so yeah, then we get the the pack. We're introduced to the pack, which is Frankie's band. Frankie played by Craig Schaefer. I don't think we mentioned this time. Pia Zadora is the. Dee Dee is Pia Zadora, yes. Who she was also in Hairspray. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, I think it was a small part, but she was original or remake? Uh, the original, original. John Waters. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. That, well, I mean, she could have been. Oh, she's remake, keeping cause... it. She's keeping it together. She is keeping it tight. <laughs> Super tight. Do I need to reference? Does she fit? Even my computer pants are rendering. From seeing this. <laughs> yeah, she is rock hard. Do you want me to reference the computer rendering of uh, John Benet Ramsey living? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the haunted dreams. So the the Dee Dee decides that she's gonna. She's like, I'm gonna do this song with the pack because you know Frankie's not here. And you're like, okay, who cares? Chick wants who's, to sing, dude. She's got a great voice. Practice. Let her sing. Yeah. Yes. So they play this song. That's the total rip off of the song uh, Mickey or Hey Mickey. Hey I Mickey. Know, hey yeah. Mickey. Yeah. It's like it doesn't have the better. clapping, and that's about it. Yeah, it's, it's like that's what harmonies. I want. But it's literally the the music in the background is like. <laughs> this is also where my fashion boner goes off. Every one of these girls is dressed just amazing. 
side ponies galore. We got leotards with neon colors. Oh yeah. The hair clips, <laughs> the scrunchies, socks rolled up and down. I'm gonna have to go watch down. this again and, and just see if it's the same dancers in every choreographed. I bet oh, I you. It I, I bet you it is. It's a small town. You're looking at Piazzadora anyway. You're barely <laughs> noticing these That's other That's why chicks. I didn't notice. Yep. There it is. <laughs> and we have the tentacle monster that comes out of the. Uh, of acid lake here and it grabs one of the dudes uh um, making out with a, a a beach trash chick <laughs> yes who literally has trash in her hair from the beach yeah well did and she the, have it at that point or did that come later oh i think she's i no, think she came there with hair. that yeah i think she started there it's like her devo hat yeah it's a tiny little <laughs> yellow so like one of those cup. Those she cake couldn't pans afford, that they wore. She couldn't afford the actual like Devo hat, so she just like oh, plastic cup on my head. It's Iowa. No one knows. <laughs> have we have we established it's Iowa, or are we just call yeah, it? No, it's, uh, it's Spielberg. The, the packs, the packs uh, license plate says Iowa. At the oh, top. okay. Uh, and it is the town of Spielberg. Yes, the town is Spielberg. Uh, because they, you know, maybe they thought they were going to be winning some awards here. <laughs> I think somebody's like Spielberg. Yeah. They did have that great it. line towards the end. I can't leave. All right, what is it? I, I'll never see Spielberg again. Yeah. <laughs> I think Spielberg needs some alien persuasion. <laughs> that was a great line. I think he's done that. Yeah. I think he yeah. 81. nailed that. <laughs> 81, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then like the other alien one he did. The, the one we don't recognize. We don't if you guys start it. talking about aliens again, I'm afraid you're going to be Close Encounters? Divorced. No, Close Encounters is a good one. No, Uh-oh. we're talking about a yeah, he, beloved. No, he heard the he heard the episode where we talked about aliens, and you said you hadn't seen it, and, and I left. You. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to law school so I can handle the divorce. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You both owe me fifty bucks. <laughs> I just came here. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. And now I owe this guy 50. Can I get a real judge? Uh, yeah. I am a real judge, piece of shit. <laughs> if I wasn't a real judge, why would my eyes be at different levels? <laughs> why would you I be? You signed a waiver. <laughs> Look, I'm in a dress and I'm wasted. <laughs> Are you winking? No, I'm chewing. <laughs> Look at that man's Order eyes. Order in the court. Right. <laughs> Let me see your dog. So, anyways, Frankie, or the, the tentacle monster, she's not the tentacle monster. <laughs> the tentacle monster tries to steal this dude <laughs> to eat him, I guess. And the the, the fat shaming, yeah. the one scene. Oh, yeah. So, big, heavy set chick, but she's getting it. She's jogging, and she's just got bandoliers of candy bars. I think I saw Spree. I, uh, I definitely Baby saw Ruth. Butterfinger. Yeah, I definitely Baby saw Ruth was in there. I mean, she's jogging more than I'd say. I I know I couldn't jog for uh, Nearly half a as five long as second she was just take. Doing. I would fall and just like just leave I without mean, me. This is your time to shine. These were all short takes, so you never know. <laughs> I still couldn't do it. Trust me. I thought, yeah, me neither. <laughs> like people, you know, we're at work. Like, Can you help me get this beer? And I'm like, oh, I gotta walk all the way around the bar. <laughs> so there are points. But it's no, she steps. Door. She steps in a tentacle and saves. And it's like the Wah! fake biker. This this beach, this lake beach, has a lot of bikers, dude. It really There's does. a lot of uh, leather and cowboy boots on a beach. I couldn't think of a worse way to enjoy sand. <laughs> leather and cowboy boots. Well, the greasers you gotta break the leather in. That's the wrong way to do it. The greasers... Get you a metal slide and some sand. And some kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> the greasers can't change clothes, otherwise they wouldn't be greasy. <laughs> oh, you can still be greasy in that lake. Trust me. Uh, so Frankie arrives and he's pissed off that the band is practicing without him. Uh, because... No, no, no. They're, they're mad that somebody's singing without him. Oh, that, that's right. I decide wow. who sings for this band, which, spoiler, <laughs> it's not him. It's often. Only me. For three lines. Yeah. Yeah. And he's actually just but like back to back with the guy sharing a microphone. <laughs> Not too dissimilar to this. But do you like it? He's do mad you like that, what you see? I do. <laughs> he's mad that Piazzadora is singing. She sounds fucking great, dude. Support your girl. Down with the patriarch. Which one of us is Y Kate Kim and which one of us is uh Felpenstein? The way the way you <laughs> the way you've been fumbling today, you're Y Kate Kim, man. <laughs> No chance, pee pants. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut to Ruth Gordon, who plays the sheriff, uh, famously to some people of every which way but loose. Uh, she played Clint Eastwood's mother, which comes up later in the movie. Ma. She Ma. was not the orangutan. She was not the orange tang. And ooh, <laughs> there she's all about space. <laughs> Did I just find my new nickname? I think so. The orange tang. I'm the orange tang. She's also in Rosemary's Baby and. Uh, 
fucking Harold and Maude, which again uh-huh. came up last week because Bud Court was also in Harold and Maude. They starred together. I like Harold and Maude. I think his best work is definitely, um, oh, I'm fucking blanking the name right now. Life Aquatic. Oh, yeah. He's great that, in Life yeah. Aquatic, man. That one's that's that was the main thing. When I went back and looked, I was like, why do I know this guy? And yeah. I saw Life Aquatic and I was like, oh, fucking of course. He's the fact check. <laughs> <laughs> I, why can I not think of that? Life Aquatic, Bill Murray, um, okay. uh, Owen Wilson. It's a Wes Anderson movie. It's where they're uh, all like... Okay. Willem Dafoe, the guy that plays all the David Bowie and Portuguese acoustic the entire time. It is my favorite Wes Anderson. Yeah. It's a top five movie. It's one mind. of my favorite Wes Anderson movies. It's, uh, it's like... Well, it's uh, in my top Jacques... five, so suck it. I... So Jacques Cousteau, it might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I don't think I, I sure, ever but... actually got to see it because that may okay. have come... Was it like... in like the mid-2000s? Yeah, like 2004, I want to say. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we I should wasn't... quit talking about it and get you some of that. Yeah, okay. like that's like, not what yeah. you're gonna do in this podcast. Or I'll right burn no. this place to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be that one month out of the year where we go. We're watching something good now. We, we need something with a plot and you know <laughs> cohesive I, story. I feel character like development. Dollhouse is filled with real people. Well, this does have that's character development. We're gonna get to this. An actual script. Because well, this just said, uh, pretend like it's an MTV channel in the 90s. Just keep doing music videos. <laughs> futuristically. Talk a little bit. <laughs> music video. So um, which one of these is that guy Jesse from fucking Real World? Is that <laughs> Wait, Frankie? Jesse? Is that his name? The guy with the crazy hair that was on the Real World and Puck? became a host? No, that no was a Jesse guy. was Jesse never on Real World. He was like a win of VJ. Yeah. Oh, was he? Thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude, like totally cool. Rad yeah, Jesse. that fucking guy. Yeah, dude. Whatever happened to him? Did he die? Did oh, he overdose? He is somewhere in Yuba sure right dead. now having a real bad time. <laughs> there are very few MTV VJs Yuba I remember. Yuba taking heat. <laughs> Jesse, back I, to re- I remember him. I remember, uh, yeah, Puck. No, Tech. 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 Tech was that from, was the one from the real world. That was from Hawaii. Yeah. I like Tech. And I tech. remember Matt Pinfield. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. He wasn't in Kurt real Loder world, right? <laughs> was on like the very first episode. Oh, Kurt Loader. The very first time. No. Oh, thank God. I'm not watching a real world with Kurt Loader. I'm not watching a real world with Kurt Loader. You want to question your reality? Leave me alone (laughs) in my room. Oh, my court. (laughs) You're combining (laughs) Bud Court Loader. Objection. (laughs) (laughs) MTV News with Bud Court Loader. All right, let's okay. Get, let's get away from Bud Court Loader. I can so go the on aliens for that. now are trying to squeeze into a phone booth. That's their preferred method of teleportation to the yeah. planet. Yeah, which this is so fucking stupid. So Sounds he's, like another movie, by the, the way. Robot, Slightly yeah. disguised. Yeah, no, it's before Bill and Ted yeah. for sure. But do you think that the do you, the person they who traveled wrote... through time? <laughs> no, Bill and Ted traveled, totally like, different. The guy concept. who wrote that actually traveled through time, so they stole the idea from him. See, boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> You hit Maybe your he just gave it to his one. earlier it self. Equals boom. <laughs> so they have to get, they're trying to all squeeze into this phone booth because that's how they're supposed to get to Earth. Uh, they get down there and only three of them are in the phone booth. Uh, six people, it will not fit, sir. Yeah. The only three of them are in the phone booth. They all squeeze out. There's a bunch of smoke and stuff. And then we get like a teleportation effect and two more come out. And then another <laughs> teleportation effect and uh, fucking sexy. Be- what's oh, his name? sexy Will Forte. Yeah. yeah sexy Absid. Will Forte comes out. <laughs> yes, Absid. A, B, C, D. If they could just teleport, why didn't they just send the booth and then all teleport separately into the Maybe booth? Maybe they the a do- physical person in the booth to get down. The robot the could have flown I it. think they wanted to have everybody in this booth and they, they had the scene of them all trying to get in like a freaking sardine can kind of thing. <laughs> and they thought it was funny for everyone to fight for a spot. And then he's like, all right, that actually doesn't work though. So we're just going to pretend you teleport in. Well, see, we wanted this... to make a serious movie. That's too jokey right here. <laughs> Cause it does becomes the anchor because as well, soon yeah. as they press eight on it, they can go yeah, right back up with much better sound. But that. They, they all, you know, they, they, when they landed, there was all that smoke and everything. So just they could have just like hit. taken the back out of the thing and just had all six of them come out from the smoke. Like they were all in it. Yeah, but you so put more funny. thought into it than than anybody else. You're overthinking this movie. All I movie. have to say, in Bill and Ted's, they fit like 10 people in there. That's true. Socrates, Socrates isn't taking up much room. <laughs> Neither is Napoleon. I was going to say. Oh, we're getting yeah. this done. <laughs> Wait, weren't they just standing on each other? Well, they're going into the past. The people were smaller back then. Abraham Lincoln's probably your biggest feller. Yeah. He's a big feller. Yeah, he's got the hat. Plus the hat. Big fucker. Big fucker. <laughs> Tall, lanky fucker. Um, 
Yeah, so, the, so they tell the robot he's got to he's got to disguise himself to fit in, and he's all pissed. He's like, uh, ex- uh, <laughs> wait, what does he say? He's like, have you, you seen anybody around here that looks like on you? all the planets we've ever visited? Yeah. This is some supreme acting from this plastic <laughs> man. I mean, he looks like he is one of these dolls thought out in real life. But th- th- these, have you ever seen anything that even resembles you? No, no, but exactly. exactly. No, no, but. no, no, but. no arms, no, no legs, no, li- no, no way, butt, no lips. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he has to disguise himself, even though they're all wearing like pink fucking. They look like Scorpion and Sub Zero, but in pink and black. Absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah. And they have like wraparound sunglasses and shit. They it's don't like look some like some sea anybody. coral variant of them. <laughs> They're like the pinkies from Greece. <laughs> or oh, the pink ladies. Yeah, the pink ladies. Mm. So he has to describe himself. He turn describe himself. God yep. Damn it, dude. <laughs> How would you describe yourself as a fire hydrant? A fire hydrant. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Fire go. hydrant. Good so disguise. He, he turns into a little fire hydrant that flaps open and talks and doesn't really like ever look like a fire hydrant. As soon as you see this thing, you think dogs piss it on that. Yeah, something's yeah. gonna piss on that. Right. That's Chernobyl's chainsaw. Yeah, Chernobyl's. exactly. Or whatever variant of Chekhov's gun Whitney wants to use this week. No, yeah, that's Pavlov's blaster. We're gonna we're gonna be going. This is Putin's nunchucks. I think I like Putin's brass knuckles. Putin's brass knuckles because they're real. And there's brass knuckles in the movie. Oh yeah. He's, he's oh yeah. We'll get those. there. He's gonna punch that Ukraine Jeremy Renner guy one of these days. <laughs> 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 the Jeremy Renner? The president of Ukraine looks like Jeremy Renner. Oh. <laughs> oh <my goodness>. Hasn't <laughs> Jeremy Renner had enough? My God. Well, now he's got Putin over okay. him, just brass knuck in his face. <laughs> that's that's maybe that's what happened. Putin was just getting mad that he couldn't get to this guy in it's Ukraine. All cover up. So he oh. sent a snowmobile for no. fucking or a snow snowplow for fucking Jeremy Renner. I, I want to hit him with a zamboni. Bye. What's the next? best thing <laughs> driven by Steven Seagal if I send a Zamboni they'll know it was me because Russians love hockey send a snowplow <laughs> oh, Zamboni's too on the nose I don't know why our, our fucking <laughs> Putin is Steven Seagal <laughs> because it, he's got his hand up his ass yeah <laughs> Putin puppet? otherwise my Putin gets just a teensy bit racist you know too on the nose and he's got the big fun <laughs> <laughs> So we have Frankie sitting at this like soda fountain, whatever that it is. It looks uh, like a 1950s what, soda jerk. But it's like, a local teen hangout. Yeah, local teenage hangout. Frankie's sitting there just eating maraschino, maraschino cherries tea. like a just monster. With a toothpick <laughs> into jar like a scumbag. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. That shit I did when I was six. This guy is on his way to diabetes. Like yeah, without a doubt, yeah. what are the diabetes. chances? What are the chances he just polishes off that syrup? Oh, a thousand percent. Oh, yeah, it's and like one the, more shot. You've Nasty. got the soda jerk guy cleaning a dirty glass, making it dirtier because he's fucking <laughs> well, gross. Well, they didn't know this is going to be on Blu-ray, mind you. Uh, your unsponsored vinegar syndrome did did not do this scene justice because that glass is disgusting. And he holds it up to but the light to make sure him, it's disgusting. You see him covered in ketchup and mustard and shit, so I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be disgusting. I think oh, this guy's uh, grabbing a dirty rag really that he just wiped the table with and just... Oh, ping. Like, do you that. think they put that much thought into that? I highly doubt it. I don't know, man. The, the production design of this movie is pretty fucking interesting. Our set really, guy, really. Uh, prop master, last name Kiker, K Y K E R, killing it. Yes. 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 I will say, though, there are three bartenders in this room. And of course, the Soda one... jerks. <laughs> are we soda jerks? No. Oh, I thought well, you were they... saying on the show. No. Why? There's three we are beer jerks. In this... Yes. In this <laughs> is that the title back then? We <laughs> are beer jerks. So, so the jerks were the guys that made your like... ugly fucking glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this glass is not beer clean. I get rid of and... this shit. Look at this dude just <laughs> handing out all fucking dirty glasses, all willy nilly. <laughs> you know the alcohol kills the germs. Um, <laughs> I think five, I don't think five percent does it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we still not started ever clear. What are we you drinking get next? Up in here. The the band comes in like the pack. <laughs> the pack. I have to be specified because there was more than one band in there this movie. There are plenty. Well, two. <laughs> yeah. The the pack comes up and like opens the door and they're like, "Hey, Frankie!" And he just I don't know. He just like gives them a dirty look and they're like, "Never mind." And they, like, did we close did the we door. mention the pack though? Is just like I mean pompadours and greasers. Oh yeah, and just I mean rockabilly. No, yeah, they're. they're, they're, they're um, stray cats. Well, stray the cats. They're extras from Crybaby. Yeah. Like the real no, Flock of no, Seagulls, not they Flight are, of Concord. Yeah, okay. Not Flight of the Concord. 
<laughs> which is a better band. No, yeah, I definitely said Flock of Seagulls last a couple Jermaine, weeks ago. Jermaine <laughs> I was trying to refer to Jermaine Clement, and I was like, Flock you know, of the Concord. <laughs> She's like, I just that's wrong. Him Jermaine Dupree. So. <laughs> Didn't even catch it. I love it. It's Jermaine. Because oh, Jermaine. He's from fucking New Zealand and yeah, can't have a normal name. <laughs> What's your name? Breet. 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 No, Breet. Breet. That's what I'm saying. Breet. Yes, Breet. <laughs> Reese. Reese Darby. <laughs> be called Ginger Balls. That's my feelings every time. Name. <laughs> Peter's a pretty normal name. Yeah. Pete. Uh, one of the guys in this in the pack is named Dino. Yes. And one is Spider, Spider with, a with a Y. y. Thank you. Who was subtitles. credited as Spider. Yeah. Like his name said Spider, and then it said played by Spider, whatever. So he's last name part was. of he's Jimmy and the Mustang. Yes. Literally playing themselves. Do you think are are we on agreement that that's just a real band? Oh, it is. Oh no, okay. yeah. Okay. The, I follow them on Spotify. Yeah, themselves. the band. On, <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, absolutely. Good on you. Guys. I love uh, a good rock and Frankie, yes. Frankie yes. and the Pack. It's where you'll find a podcast known as Bad Movies and Horrible People or whatever you are. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good movies lately, and still shitty people. It's called Okay Movies and Really Grumpy People. Yeah, Frank or the pack is Jimmy of the Mustangs, and then the space band is Rema, 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 Rema McIntyre. Rema. <laughs> Come from Indian Unas, New Zealand, Rema. Uh, so the aliens are coming in on like they're coming in over a bridge, and they've got their little like, oh, you're in disguise as a fire hydrant. Now walk in front of us because that's how fire hydrants behave. And it's but now they realize like that they're not. In it's kind of like the little mouse droid Wait, well, from no. Star Wars. It's like oh yeah, them, it's just like <laughs> little mousey. <laughs> He's like, I'm detecting life forms. You yeah. need to pick. Oh, yeah. And now, yeah, now, dude, has to pick him up because we're going over uneven ground. The and murderer of all over. fire hydrant shaped I, robots. I am a hundred percent sure that this scene was added because someone. In the producer's yeah. office, or whatever, it was like, we need a flash of tits, otherwise, we're the, not going to be the, on Cinemax. We can't Quick keep them. flash of nips right and I here. I'm okay with it. Oh, I'm okay with it. it. Oh, I, yeah, you I, did. I, because yeah, call the, it so out. They hold the robot like a up. Pointer and he, dog. <laughs> he scans the, the young folk who are driving like a 1930s hot rod and like a 1970 something Camaro. That was actually oh, an early dope er, cars. Er, uh, that was a, ooh, that was a late 70s Camaro, mayhaps. Yeah, I think it was a Camaro. I would say yeah, 70, I think it's, yeah, I think but it's like a this dude, <laughs> she's not, Shut up, Patrick. she's not, having, <laughs> she's not having this dude's advancements, and he oh, looks up no. and see what I think is the spaceship, probably, probably, yeah, that and uh, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight, and all of a sudden, boom! Oh my God, there's a naked dude <laughs> and a chick with a red bra, and in the back seat, you get the quickest little flash of nips. Yep, that girl but was okay not wearing a bra. She was there to fuck. The other Hell girl's yeah. like, don't touch me, Jimmy. And that other girl's like... Oh, the back seat's like, uh, shut the fuck up, Brenda. <laughs> so, and the whole thing was they, they stole their clothes so they could blend in. All six members, or all five members of the band, like the actual band, Rima, Rema, whatever, are dressed in their clothes. So two of them have like poodle skirts on yeah. and shit. They're like, is this okay for you guys? I'm like, yes. And then the guy, one of the guys in the girl clothes is like, no. The other one's like, yeah. We have one guy in the girl clothes is like, yeah, great. <laughs> He's even like frilling out to the sides, loving his look. Loving Curtsy. his look. Curtsy. Hey, make so, yourself happy. It's 2023 or 1984. But, like, but sexy Will Forte didn't get a disguise. He's like, no, no I'm fine in my pink power. Keep Rangers my fucking outfit. key. Yes. <laughs> also, I think it was Stovitz. Stovitz. Yeah, Stovitz. He's the one that was like super happy. Stovitz dress. was loving that dress because he's the, the goofy next one. Next scene, nobody's in their fucking costume. Yeah, they're I back mean, in pink except the, for him. Stovitz is, is dressing. Oh, I didn't notice that because I was going back and forth between. Yeah, yeah he had just like, a, like this part of the dress, like the teal cover, like a frock, at, okay. if you will. So at least they yeah. carried it over for at least a moment. <laughs> yeah, I was Easy. thinking like they put this scene in, and then it was just not no. no they never referred to. Now it Now get again, ready so. for a record skip because uh. they walk into this diner, <laughs> and you can tell these people ain't from around here. <laughs> yeah, right before they get to the diner <laughs> though is when we get that uh, everybody's favorite song, Justine. Oh, Justine. Justine. Jimmy and the Mustang saying Justine, Justine for three and a half Justine. minutes. Justine, shut the fuck <laughs> up. I think we get it. I think her name is Justine. I so think she makes you crazy. Jimmy, Jimmy was trying. Jimmy was trying to get with Nicole. Damn it, it was Nicole. <laughs> Jimmy was trying to get with a girl named Justine, and it's like fucking Scott Pilgrim. He's like, I wrote a song about you. <laughs> you know, Ramona. Oh no, this is straight. I can't wait to hear the rest of the song. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> this is straight Woody Harrelson and Cheers. Kelly, 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 Kelly. <laughs> 
Frankie enters, and like some <laughs> of the guys from the pack are with him because the, the whole band doesn't always play. Yeah, well, know. the pack is also just a bunch of like murderous, yeah, they're, uh, they're, youths, they're, a couple of <laughs> a bunch of ne'er do wells, misfits, if you will, misfits, rap scallions. I mean, they, one of them does have misfits here, but it's blonde. Yeah. He's got that yeah. whole fucking like real forward. Oh, and one curl. of the guys is really trying hard to be uh, the sexy sax man from Lost Boys, but you're oh, wearing yeah. you're wearing barely too much shirt. I mean, it's, it's covered, it shreds, but it covers your. I nips. mean, these guys are like a gang from the Warriors, but they would have been killed real quick. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do agree. I would have liked. Oh yeah, to that see gang more is nipples. out of there. You always want to see more nipples, but she I wants. Th- in this case, she wants more men. We nipples. watched Passion of the Christ together, and she goes, "I just wanted to see more nips." More nips. There's a lot of nips. <laughs> in Get them a little yeah, more. Most of them have, for this yeah, one. But most of them are covered in blood, and it's really it obscures the nip. I need the more. Hey, no king shamer. <laughs> All right. You can't king shame bloody nips. I watch. Uh, I watch eight millimeter. I watch Passion of the Christ. I've got a type. So Pia Zadora, <laughs> Pia Zadora comes up and starts talking to Frankie and they're walking through. One of the guys, I think it's Dino, is following real close. She's like, why don't you get off my back? And he's like, oh, I get off on your front. Yep. Oh, is this oh, not Zach Braff? Yeah, I think that's... Uh, no, fake, no, no, not not fake Zach Braff is going to be the one that hits on the friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Hey, Grease fake Monkey, Zach you want to tickle my carburetor? <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, <laughs> both these dudes deserve to get smacked. The, the the carburetor guy should get smacked by her. A thousand percent. And Dino should get smacked. You do not talk to my girlfriend like that. Well, he right. does. <laughs> Frankie looks at him and he smacks himself. He oh, yeah, all right, a good. Times. Handled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like three saw. times. Oh, man, that's some power. That's a look. <laughs> Jump back and smack myself. Let's see. Do I have it? So this is when... Oh, <laughs> yes. I have the look. The Rima, Rima plus Will Forte show up at the local teen hangout. Did which you is... say four titties? No, Forte. Oh. Rima <laughs> McIntyre, four titties are hanging out. <laughs> Rima McIntyre and her four titties. <laughs> I'd watch that. Uh, it's like, a, a, it's like a total recall fucking sequel. <laughs> total sequel. It's just about that girl. And she's like, no one pays attention to me. So I had to get plastic surgery and add a fourth. I almost said Oh, third. no. I'm the I'm the, the run to my family. I only have three tits. Everybody else has four. <laughs> Go see my sister, Rima McIntyre. <laughs> Rima. The alien band approaches the place. Local teen hangout. And he's like, oh, this looks like a good place to go. And they do this weird, like... Jump, kick, step, stomp, like Nazi thing. It's, it's, like, it's a goose step. It's a goose step <laughs> salute. Because well, nice. like, later on in the movie, they do like a half salute where they like hit their chest, theirs but they is, don't put just, the arm theirs out. Theirs is Roman. Because the Romans <laughs> always did the little chest thumb, so it's yeah. Roman, they do not it like, Nazi. They do it like a hey, flat palm. Benefit of the doubt, pal. Yeah, yeah. But it's also, <laughs> you combine evolving. that with their, they're like, the gayest Nazis, yeah, because they're they got the pink outfits. They when they do the goose step, they like do a little hop and a skip. We want you to get out of here. Yeah, we've had enough of you. What, Patrick? I don't want to talk about how they're the alphabet people doing your gay Nazi stuff. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Fucking Dave Chappelle's whole thing about alphabet people and oh. stuff because the LGBT. So they're calling, dude. This this movie is pretty oh shit I, yeah i didn't oh even think God. about that there's a lot end, of stuff at the this end when it's spray that. painted and it's like down with the alphabet yeah. creeps we hate like, the alphabet oh fuck man. creeps yeah mm. man frankie and his gang are, are a bunch of fucking homophobes and transphobes and shit <laughs> we cannot have enough of these people We've got i mean we, they are kind of homophobic because we get that scene later with the, oh, the sex yeah, transmitter one guy liked it, but yeah, but that wasn't really Frankie's people. That wasn't part of the pack. That was just... I think. That, well, it was everybody in the place. Yeah. So some yeah. of them were the pack. Some, some were the pack, were... not the band. It's that super point in time, fucking I don't confusing. That, that, the pack showed up after that. With it's Frankie. hard to tell because everybody's dressed like an extra. Well, so the pack baby. is definitely in the scene we're talking about now because now we get the group <laughs> sitting there. Everyone's checking them out because they're fucking weird. Look at these space cadets. We should go beat them up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, before they even sit down. Ooh, an like allegory for uh, uh, aliens, illegal aliens. Is yeah. that what we're talking here? Yeah. I mean, Iowa. you get it later, you're an alien. Yep. Or I'm an alien. That's okay. Oh, that's There's a... plenty of English bands. What about Menudo? I was on blast. I don't think Menudo is an English band. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think anyone <laughs> in England would know what to do with the word Menudo. <laughs> Food or music. You misspelled Menudo. Or, <laughs> fuck, you misspelled Menu. I don't know. <laughs> Like well, did you try to say menu when oh, you said menudo? There was real quick the light, the fire hydrant just stays on the curb and the guy comes and starts writing a ticket for the car that's parked there. <laughs> oh, Thank right. you, officer. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so there, no yeah. hesitation either. Like he doesn't even. Yep. He's just like. Oh, a normal day in Iowa, in Spielberg, Iowa. Because <laughs> they're just. He's we a don't cop. Talk like that in Iowa. Oh uh, like, wait, are you from there? 
my family is. Yeah, oh, I, God. I spent my summers there. <laughs> We got we got to swap uh, stories about the uh, oh, I, probably where my toxic lake comes house. So you know the nipple of the state. <laughs> hey, this is where That's my fascination. Is. The <laughs> fuck are you talking about the nipple of the state? Like it's a common thing. <laughs> I the penis of shape. Florida. She said that to me. The penis first of time. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> she said that to Wait, me. Wait, penis of like, door or penis she, of Florida? <laughs> She said that to me the first time she was starting to describe where her family came from. She's like, like you know, you the know nipple of Iowa. Is. And I was like, what the fuck that's are you like, talking about? Nipple. But like, that's not as common as when people describe themselves from Michigan and use their hand as a mitt. Like, they, oh, I'm, totally I'm from the thumb. Yes, they do that. I'm from right here. <laughs> I, 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 was say, I want someone from, I'm from Iowa just to like pop their shirt down. Like, this is where I'm from here. I went to college over here. <laughs> yeah, I came from here. Uh, you like Top of the Goliath. They're up here by my armpit. I took a road trip the other day down, you know, under my titty, onto the uh, Oh, I went down to Mississippi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Then we reached the. I'm gonna have to look this up and check you because this might just be a weird family fucking thing that you guys do. <laughs> no, I'm the only one that says it. I, I'm. Oh, so it's not even a weird family thing. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. a weird you thing. It's just a yeah. weird Whitney. Okay, thing. fair. <laughs> I look at it. Makes sense again. There's the nipple. <laughs> So that's what she's calling the nipple. Okay. Uh, it's the right. nub. Like, it's, rub, it's the nub. Rub my nub. Rub my nub. Yeah. I guess I could say the nose. I don't know. It looks like a titty. It's a weird ass titty. It's uh, I've seen a lot of side of, boob like, in my life. Drippy. Listeners at home, Google Iowa. It comes right up and tell me if that's a titty. Bad movies, worst people at gmail.com. Side boob. Like, <laughs> not even side boob, like profile. And it's like a droopy titty. So here we get another dance number. <laughs> love the dance number here. Uh, the Lover and Me. Wait, are we supposed to... This is the, the panty dance. Pia Zadora and her friend Diane... Actress unknown. I do, she is known, but yeah, I'm, I'm she's a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, she was in is... Fletch. She was in what my what I know her best from is the uh, Rachel's boss and friends that sleep with Chandler and handcuffs into a filing cabinet. Yeah, that's my most. But this uh. is after not Zach Braff. Oh no, we already said this is. Yeah, oh, that comes later too. This is when he's like, "Hey, hey, grease monkey." The girl, no, the girl, uh, Pia Zadora and Diane go to the bathroom and they're talking about away like. From them, right? Well, they go there first. Pia Zadora goes because she's pissed off at Frankie. Oh, okay. And this Which, is right after the dude hits on her and stuff. And she, so she storms in there. Tough place to go if you're mad at Frankie because every fucking door <laughs> yeah. on these stalls yeah. has a picture of Frankie. Oh, yeah, the bathroom stalls all have like the sexiest picture of Frankie as you could possibly I believe it's the one on the on inside. It is. It's, it's, it's yeah, exactly he's, got those, he's got those well-sculpted cum gutters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. dude is a fucking smoke show. Uh, the smolder. Oh, this, oh this, he's, he's got farty face smolder for sure. You get that nice like musical and lead what? in where it's like, you know, they're talking and all of a sudden you just hear like doo, doo, huh? doo, 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 in the back and then people start talking and you can tell it was recorded in a studio <laughs> somewhere else. Dude, that was the scene with the, the like the, the feet dancing with the panties. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what happens well, right not here. Well, all yeah. panties, Patrick. Oh yeah. A we keen go, observer would notice rolled down socks was going commando. Yeah. Commando. How? She might have been the same. How would you know that but without also, seeing more? Well, no, because Maybe they show... she's just sitting on the toilet. I want to say texting on the toilet, but we both know that no. didn't happen back then. <laughs> what saying is, I mean, well, there were aliens fucking flying a giant there, guitar. She could but. be in there doing cocaine, but what she's probably in there, she's probably the same girl from the car that didn't have a bra on. Yep. Yep. She's like, fuck it, man. Because hey. we pan across like the, the bottoms of the stalls, and it's all these girls' feet, and they're doing like a dance number. And it's not just back and forth. They're like and doing cross legs. Yeah, it's like it's it's choreographed. They're doing a river dance. It's Michael Flatley and the Lord <laughs> yeah. of the Dance. But it is only underwear. Lord it's of the no underpants. Pants. No, yeah. Well, they're all wearing skirts. No, they're Every- not. No, they had a bunch of like spandex. A lot of them are wearing whatever pants. Commando. We ended up finding her socks jeans. is wearing jeans, like almost oh, well, you know, more like mom jeans. You hang your pants up because anim- man is the only animal <laughs> the that only goes one that goes with the pants on. So. <laughs> Um, so something I like about this though, as soon as the song ends, cause she, the friend asked a question and was like, so like, what do you think? Are you going to break up with Frankie? And she just busts into the song and it ends. She goes, simple. No would have been fine. Yeah. No, they, a yes or a no. Or yes or a no. She acknowledges the fact like, bitch, that was a three minute song. Because it's still not answered. And you didn't answer a fucking thing. <laughs> also, I really because these wanna... songs are beautiful, but they do not explain plot. There is nope. no like, some loving, no, had but me a blast. But they do relate oh to what's God. going on mostly. Justine had nothing to do with anything. Justine There's had a couple nothing that to do. Know, but like this has a, this is about her relationship, whatever. But it doesn't cover anything. But I do want to want to know. She said, "Are you going to break up with Frankie?" And she sang a song called "Lover in Me." Yeah. So, 
Yes. I guess she's like, no, because he fucks me. They're going to stay friends with benefits. He's got, a, he's got a great cock, I'm sure. No, the walk like that, you have to. I mean, maybe that's what that chain wrapped around his one thigh. Oh, to keep it at bay? To keep his dick <laughs> down. Because this guy's got a in. chain going around his hips that wraps then, around his upper thigh. Yeah. I mean, dude, that boner could kill a person. <laughs> Boom! Like a telecopenis. <laughs> So we're back in the restaurant. <laughs> we're back in the diner. So we're still there. <laughs> the aliens, while well, in the actual diner part, where the people eat food, and not the bathroom. They're about the CP as it not where they the get rid of time. food. Yes. Yeah, and the 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 aliens are sitting around trying to like they're figuring out shit. They're like pouring salt on the table, eating a menu. Uh, One of them has a milkshake, and they're trying to figure out how do you eat this. And well, the guy's like, puts, I can put it in my mouth. And the guy's like, Well, can you also put it out here? Well, and he no, like no, no. pours he's it on like, his chest. He, he drops like, an egg. An egg. Like he drops an egg. That's like a giant. Fucking Which makes it froth us oh, and okay. turn green. And so the the ginger fuck says, "Is that? Do you have to do that for everything?" It's the, the only way I can, way way I can drink it. Well, can you drink it like this? Grabs his shirt collar, pours the milkshake, the green frothy milkshake down his okay. shirt, and he goes, "Yeah, no problem." Hits the top of his head and burps. burps. So <laughs> this man has some sort of porous skin. Yes. So two <laughs> things happen here. One, Absorbing. those black two eggs are, those black <laughs> those black eggs are how they carry their booze. Yeah. And uh, he's a drunk. I see it more like he's a little kid like I need to put sugar in my cereal. <laughs> I don't like cherry. Yet. I'm going to say it's gin. <laughs> All right. He's the oh, guy that carries fair. a flask of gin. gin. Right. Ooh, egg flask of gin. Yeah. I'll just take a tonic. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Future is now. It's blue. Green, whatever. <laughs> blue milk. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that happens, and Pia Zadora goes walking by, and everybody looks at her. All the aliens look at her. You can hear the. Yeah, in but Absid, yeah. Absid just is. Sexy Will Forte. Yes. Losing his fucking shit. Yeah, he starts, steam starts shooting out of his collar, and he's like, starts wiggling and shit, and everybody's like, oh, he's gonna blow, and they like back up. His arms and head pop off. One of his arms flies into some dude's face, and like confetti shoots out everywhere, and no one in the fucking diner bats an eye. Yeah. The one dude who's in the pack is like, some guys will do anything for attention. <laughs> Normal day, though. Normal day. Which, we find out later that should not have even well, happened. Well, no, they talk about how they took away their emotions, and I think that's why he exploded, because she was so beautiful oh, that, that like his... it overrode his um, um, emoectomy oh, or whatever they okay. call it, and that's that. why he exploded. System overload. Yeah. So they they oh, collect they now. collect all the parts of uh, Absid. It's a funny... It's a funny musical interlude i'd say yeah patrick i know you don't care the oh song God. this song this song has nothing to do with anything other than maybe they're like well combine man kind of like robot man i don't know yeah maybe oh, it was fuck. a song they already had and they're like fuck it let's do yeah, it what did i say it was like big earl ford yeah it just fred? didn't fred ford i don't know Not like earl fred earl, no earl ford, ford. Earl earl ford. Earl? but, but it, saying, just, it doesn't make sense it's amazing i love it I'm going to listen to yeah, it tonight. It's like, he's a combine man, a, a tree man. I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any sense. Um, they do refer to themselves as plants at one point. Yeah. Okay. We caught that. One of the aliens is like, oh, what kind of plant are you? I think it's when Diane is talking to them. Oh, yeah. It's when they're like probing her. Yeah. So they're maybe going they're through like, all of her oh, stuff yeah. on her I don't know. Belt. They're plant people. So the combine man is their reaper. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like that's their god. But they're doing this song. They're like collecting the body parts. They're trying to sneak back to the teleportation uh the sheriff's on to him, though. The teleport she knows, phone booth? She knows the telephone is something. The phone booth. Um, wait, did <laughs> we talk about the... <laughs> Patrick's just going to sit here the whole he's episode. He's so like, much uh... pain right now. Did we talk about the telekinetic penis for this? <laughs> Teleca penis? No. The sheriff is spying on a dude with her uh, telescope. We yeah. did, yeah, we did. Oh, no, I, I think, think that, that was, was on the first one. That I was don't a think podcast ago, buddy. No, we uh, did this time. Deja vu. I don't think so. Well, cut this if not. But if she, it, it you can't so at this point. She's <laughs> this she's guy is like doing squats oh, or he, something. Shirtless squats in white jeans. Ooh, those are sweats at best, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Trust. So she's like sheriff is Ruth. Oh, she's moist for this dude. Super moist. So she's like, fucking, trying to zoom in. She's just soaking her socks. And then what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Clean up my panties. He does. So like, he does a huh, thrust. And then tele- boom. telekinesis penis. All of a sudden, it like knocks her back a little bit, and the telescope is looking straight up at the ship. Erect. Which is a mile. I mean, his he, this thing can't it's look inside the, the window, yeah. and it's outside the atmosphere. Clear as day, guitar spaceship. <laughs> and then that's when we hypothesize that his telekinesis. Hello. Telekinesis penis or telekinesis? Telekinesis is actually magical and helped fix her zooming. Yes. 
It thrust that zoom right into it. Yeah, it did. Uh, so the sheriff, Ruth Gordon. Uh, <laughs> there's a real fun uh, moment with uh, the sheriff where he, her and Stovitz are like back to back. Yes. Kind of like, oh, I'm sneaking with head. you. Yeah. Well, they're Which, all sneaking past her. Like she looks away. They run into the phone booth and hit eight and disappear. She looks oh. back. You know, they're doing it like two at a time. And yeah, yeah, Stovitz, the goofy one, is the one who comes up and he's carrying the head. He's they, walking. <laughs> yeah, they're turning, like doing back to back turning. And he doesn't even realize that she's there. She doesn't realize that he's there. It's not like he's trying to hide from her. Yeah. <laughs> and we find this right now. And what's he do when she does find him? He plants a wet one. Plants a wet yeah, one. She looks at him like, who the fuck? And he just kisses her and then runs into the booth and pushes the button. And she just looks all flustered. But you pointed she out, though, stoked. The, the dummy head looks a lot like the actor because sexy Will Forte has such a blank look as it is. <laughs> he basically has a dummy head that... with a dummy haircut. <laughs> like, it's a fake it's a fake wig haircut, even though I'm pretty sure that's his hair. Yeah, they just bull cut it. Hair grows back, it's fine. Oh, if you just cut this short of this, dude, it's Hitler's wet dream. (laughs) Oh. These aliens care more about rock and roll than they do haircuts, obviously. That's for sure. (laughs) I don't know. Some of them have pretty awesome haircuts. He's the one with the terrible haircut. (laughs) Did we mention he's the actor? Everybody else in this group is part of the band. Yeah. And he is just an actor. Correct. What's the band's name? Rema. Rema? Rema McIntyre. Oh, fuck me. Rema. Rema. The only reason I can remember it's Rema is because he said Rema McIntyre, and we know it's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't sound right at all. Macarema. That's right. Rema. So they, they go onto the ship and they have this really cool way of like bringing their friend back to life. They basically like put all the parts into a thing and print out like photocopy beep boops. Yeah. And they make all these fucking photocopies. They tape them together. They put them into like into the same slot where they put the guy earlier, like a roller. Cut. Yeah, and it prints out like a vinyl, <laughs> like vinyl sticker of I think him. It's a balloon. Well, it looks like it looks like a printing mylar balloon. Well, yeah, yes. it looks like a clear, like the kind of like the like what, what, fat what the, the fat heads. Yeah, the <laughs> fat head <laughs> things. Yeah. Which, by the way, if they're still a fat head of Absid. I'm buying a fucking fat head of Absid. That was just the name of the company, uh, Fathead. And they made other stuff. Of acid? I know. I was hearing you know, acid, and you know, I was like, yes, you know why please. they called them? You know why they just called them Fatheads? Fathead of acid. You know why they called them Fatheads? Because it was all NFL stars, and they all have huge egos. Oh. Yeah. Hey, yeah that's how that works. Penis. Are you sure they're little testicles? No, trust me. I've been there. I'm sure a lot of them have little <laughs> testicles. Testicles small. Shaft like a can of Pepsi and lactating. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They are all Sylvester Stallone. To all the right, <laughs> don't sue me. So they print him out and they lay him on a table and oh, they're like, they would die in litigation. Aren't they? Oh, they're still singing Combine Man the whole time. Yeah, because now they're blowing up this Mylar balloon. Yeah, they're so cleverly He's combining the a man. <laughs> yeah, just... it's like pushing on the wall and they pump him up. They go to pump. Him you up. up. <laughs> it's actually a real fun scene. I think. Yeah, I it is like fun. you said when we were watching it. He I, I, doesn't hate himself enough, or he hates himself too much. I can't tell. I just think he don't know the difference between good, bad, and good, bad. Yeah, or bad, good. <laughs> yeah, bad, good is a good. We're getting bad. back into the math thing. This is like uh, a friend what's of his my name? friend is, is it, uh, Corman. <laughs> Roger Corman. Roger Corman. Like, you're making the best out of a low budget. Yeah. You're, you're Which whipping... his wife produced the movie we talked about last week. So it's a great oh, connection. Because okay. I said, I said, oh, he's related, she's related to Roger Corman. And everybody in the room was like, cricket, cricket. Yeah. Cricket. No, Corman, <laughs> if you don't know who he is, look him up. You'll know a bunch of the movies. Yeah. The guy's infamous for getting. Will we? Oh, I yes. think you will. There'll be there and if you've watched any old shitty movies, you've seen a Roger yep. Corman. Movie. I am married to you. Yeah, yeah so you've seen, seen aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Not a Roger Corman. Movie. You want to stay and watch it? <laughs> yeah. All so, right, let's fucking roll it up. After they inflate uh, Absid, they appear back on the beach like they teleport back down but they're just on a combine with a farmer yep. <laughs> like they're just on this giant Ooh, tractor in the middle of song big Ernie Ford yes yeah. and he's just sitting there he's have no reaction to the fact that they're finishing a song no reaction to the fact that children surround the thing and start cheering I say children because they're supposed <laughs> to be teenagers well, these yeah, are all clearly 30 they, year olds they do what you're supposed to do in a crisis like this is get really close to the combine and start to dance this is it's in every. Um, it's in the happening. Oh no! Wait, that guy dies. Never mind. <laughs> Clearly, they haven't seen Man on the Moon. The one with yeah. Reese Witherspoon, not Jim Carrey. Oh, I don't know that. Neither one. Neither have I. What? Oh. Neither have I. Yeah. I haven't seen very many things with Reese with her. It was her very first movie. <laughs> Rhymes with please hit her poon. 
Yes. Reese with what? Uh, in the, I'm going to remember that in now. In the Sweet Home Alabama like era, I would agree with that statement. I, I didn't see the movie, but I saw the poster. I know she's in Legally Blonde. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is she? Yes. And she's also in Cruel, Cruel Intentions. Cruel Intentions. I was going to say, Cruel Intentions That's how she met her is husband. the only well, thing ex-husband. I give a shit about her in, honestly. Speaking of Cruel Intentions, who wants to come back and talk about wild things? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't seen that since it came out. Are we out. going with good, um, bad, or bad, good? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while, but I've got it Chaotic coming. Chaotic neutral. I've got it coming on 4K. <laughs> oh, I bet you do. Coming. <laughs> on 4K. <laughs> yeah, well, some Nev Campbell and uh, fucking Denise Richards in 4K. Yeah. Someone's going to be coming. But Denise yeah. shows tits and Nev does not? No, Denise Richards never showed never tits. Shows. And Nev does. So Nev must have. I saw that movie once. I, I don't remember there was anything tits. about it. Yeah. I, was about I don't say, know. Like, There's uh, a cool scene. Yeah. Not Denise like... Richards. If, if you do see Denise Richards' boob, it's, it's, not a, it's a stunt actress. Yeah. Stunt cock. <laughs> stunt tits. Oh, God. Stunt nap. <laughs> stunt jugs. <laughs> Listen, here, you stunt jug fucker. <laughs> give, your t- give your jugs a tug, you stunt fucker. <laughs> uh, so, they're, the pack, some of the, somebody in the pack says that those guys' song was like cool or something. And that's when Frankie's like, bury your face. Yeah. So the guy gets <laughs> down on the beach and just buries his head in the Ostrich sand. Ostrich style. <laughs> like it's all the way up sweet, to the shoulders. Like, Serape poncho vests. Uh, yes. Buy one in 2X and get at me. The very, a very different outfit than anybody else in this movie Absolutely. or band. I think it was his personal clothing. Oh, he lives on this lake beach. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is where Diane. So Diane meets the band. Uh, the alien band. Oh, they probe her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They she do. like stands in the middle of them. They're all circle jerk. I mean, circling around her. <laughs> <laughs> they all like reach out. They're grabbing her hair Very and pulling aggressive. on her shirt and like sniffing her. And she's just like, "All right, that's cool. Whatever." Just like continuously. Like, yeah, she's trying to pronounce their names, looking at their name tags, which I don't think we mentioned on this go around. But their name tags are, it's like A B C D E. So that's absid. Or is it A B C D? I and think then it's EFG. got E in, but but yeah, it's like she's trying to pronounce their names, and she's no. like so absid. He's, he's A B C D, and then there's F G, who's E F G H. E F G H. Yeah, she's so an F G and uh, Jacklem, J K L M N, and then Stovitz. We got Stovitz. Yeah, and then whoever O P Q R Supper. She calls him. He calls him. She calls him Sakur or something. Doesn't matter because yeah. it's never said again. Yeah, absent, she's the absent and Stovitz and are the repeated. Vowels. She's the yeah. only one that gives a shit about it. Yeah, uh, and then we Ginger have... Fuck is <laughs> Nope QR. Okay. Nope Ker. Nope okay, so she says like Nope Ker. I knew there was like a Ker. And, and then, of was... course, we cannot forget about A E I O U. Yeah, because they were like, fuck, we split these names up wrong, but we already made A-U. the name tags. So she just calls them A U. A U. Or A U. Hey, you. Hey, she's yo. like, she's hey, like you. is it A you? And they're like, yeah, close enough. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Just, we've never given it that much thought. We're plants with yeah, we, bets. We can call them that. That's fine. <laughs> it's funny when uh, fucking Absid talks to uh, Pia Zadora here shortly. And he's like, what's your name? And just like opens her jacket. And she's got like a 13 on there. And she's like, it's Dee Dee. And like pulls her shirt <laughs> close. Like he's just like, what's your name? And she's like, are you looking at my tits? Probing aliens, dude. <laughs> But yeah, at this part, they're just grabbing on her and pulling on her, and she does not seem... She seems slightly uncomfortable, but also not, doesn't seem to give a shit. Yeah, not enough to leave. <laughs> but also, this was the 80s where we just had to deal with it. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know. Down with the patriarch. Women are objects. <laughs> mm-hmm. Apparently. <laughs> Um, well, technically. And then he puts his arm on my chair I mean, like he claims me. No, I was leaning on it because I'm fat and it's hard to hold myself up. <laughs> He's like, yep, uh, objects. Claiming that property. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, I gotta pay for rent. <laughs> so she says she's like the manager of some... Thing, yeah, Diane but she invites says, them to play at the cotillion. The cotillion. The cotillion. Cotillion. The cotillion at Heidi High. This fucking word called a dance or a promenade. <laughs> hey, hey, it's like a they battle called of the bands. it a cotillion. Yeah, they keep but if you cotillion. look up cotillion, it doesn't say anything about rockabilly versus synth. It's not in the definition. Which is awesome, by the way. It's like the best version of West Side Story that happens later in this movie. A thousand percent. So this is there's like three versions of West Side Story in this movie, right? There's four versions of this movie in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> movies. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, the, the Jermaine Jackson video is is West Side Story. The whole movie is West Side Story. That one scene is specifically from West Side Story. Yeah. You're from another planet. We're also going to get a fight later that is very much a dance fight. 
Sharks. Jets. Sharks. You just had to go uh, back for your belt. Who's going to be the fake Puerto Ricans that paint their face and piss everybody off? Oh, man. Not 1984. I mean, piss, half of them. Wouldn't piss anybody off. <laughs> half of the girls had, like, their face painted. Remember, Dee Dee has, like, a half star on her face. Oh, but that's like Jim and the Holograms. Type yeah, there's like in songs and stuff. Not like in West Side Story where it was just white people you, painted way, brown. For calling out Jim and the holograms. holograms. That was my first fake marriage. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> weird. I could, I could fill a therapy session. I was, with married, Jim to and the a, I was married to a Power Ranger. <laughs> that's not weird. But this is when they. Uh, <laughs> So the aliens go back to the ship, and Absid is going to make a sexual stimulator for women. Ooh, yeah. So he's oh. in there building a vibrator. He's got his eyes set on her, dude. This yeah. is like, this is alien Spanish fly. Well, he popped his top the first time he saw her. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So we, Jack and I noticed, they, all these guys have like, I call it a bindi. They yeah. have like a gem in the middle of their forehead. Yeah, they call it. It's part of their emo. <laughs> we don't, but we you don't, don't find know, out what it is yet. Yeah, you don't know anything about it now. But we noticed that. But if you want to learn more, watch anymore. this movie. <laughs> yeah, after they reprinted him, it's gone. So like, yeah, I thought he, it was a fuck up at first. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it, yeah, it takes we're like, them. You can still see the dot. Well, it takes them until the last four minutes of the movie to explain what happened, which is a great, <laughs> great writing plot. Is uh, keep them, keep them guessing. Climax. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, the, you know, movie, the, one of the first rules of writing a script is, you know, tell, don't show <laughs> because it's a visual medium. So you need someone to explain what happened later, not just show you what actually happened. It's, it's show, don't tell. I'm, <laughs> I'm being an asshole. Tell Trust me more. Well, it's like on a I podcast, don't. we talk about things that you need to see. <laughs> like you don't need to see this. <laughs> oh, you could. I'm, I'm pretty sure last week I did something. It was like, like this. Exactly. <laughs> I think it happens every time I've been over here recording. Somebody does a very physical gag. Like, and then he does 100%. this. It's like, well, that's good dead air. <laughs> it would be great if someone did a good visual. Physical. Visual? A, fish, a, a visual. Fish, a physical. A physical gag, but it was like a nice like pratfall. Fistful. So it's just like all of a sudden you just hear. <laughs> Oh, like that I think I just broke. My, I think I just broke my rib cage for your podcast. Dude. Oh my fucking shin! <laughs> so he he imagines a new song here with Pia Zadora in like this really, I mean not really futuristic. Wide awake, wet dream, yeah, feeling Cynthia, emotions. Cynthia white fucking like fantasy outfit, which is a girl's outfit with deep pockets. Patrick might hate this movie, but he's brought up a good point. This is him feeling feelings. He's yeah. never for the first had time. Feelings. Yeah, Patrick, you're such a scholar for I this just, movie. I just want to watch Equilibrium. Now. Uh, you know, it's almost <laughs> like he's a virgin. Yeah, being touched for the very first time. Well, because they have <laughs> sex almost every night. I mean, they almost put them Monday, together almost Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> they put them together like a surgeon. They did put them together well, like a cut surgeon. for the very first time. <laughs> Hey. Actually, they put them together more like a screen printer, but that's <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really flow. It's like when you're a little kid, and you find a latex glove and you blow into it. <laughs> so the song's called—I don't know what it's called—but the the chorus is a little bit of heaven, and it's their like love song to each other. And this but dude of course, is not singing. No, no. He, he does sing for a moment, doesn't he? No, I mean it's not him, but there's another. Singer. Oh yes, yes. I'm saying actor-wise, <laughs> not him. Character-wise, sure. Yeah, no, the character sings. I closed the Wikipedia window, so I don't know who the singer is, and uh, I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is where we get fake Zach Braff. We go back to Hitting the fucking Diane. diner, and he goes Hitting to sit on, on Diane. Diane. What was it again? His she letterman says, I, Hey, Grease Monkey, you want to tickle my carburetor? Yeah, and she's like, I don't work on compacts. Ow! Zing. Burn! Got him. Which, I mean, that's a terrible pickup line, and that's a really good comeback. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that's... I mean, it's not even clever creepy. It's just creepy. Yeah. You want to tickle my carburetor. First of all, that has nothing to do with carburetors. I'm not a mechanic. But I've never, oh, you heard, have you? I've have never you not... heard a mechanic say, hey, well, we need to tickle the carburetor and get this going. You've never taken yours in for a little tickling? Like you don't get a yearly tickling on your carburetor? <laughs> uh, I, I need to drop this off for a little slap and tickle. I yeah. usually have them tickle the carburetor <laughs> and fluff the tailpipe. It's it's a once just, a year kind of just thing Just a little for me. tickle and tinker, you know. <laughs> have that it. Your anniversary night? It's my anniversary night. Uh, that's, where you gotta, that's where you gotta put in the uh, the lube, you know. Yeah. Quick yeah. lube change. <laughs> that's, a, that's a jiffy lube right there. <laughs> Speaking of, well, I had to say we had Grease Monkey already. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wrap it up, guys. We're 30 minutes yeah, into this movie. I was trying to say, we're like, <laughs> this is take two. <laughs> uh, 
17 more minutes and we'll hit the runtime of this movie. Jesus Christ, dude. You oh, got God. some editing to do. We, we can't have... tight We 90. can't keep doing episodes longer than the fucking movies, <laughs> dude. No way. No, trust so me. So anyway, he uses the stimulator. <laughs> yeah, so he, he's in he, the... he goes to the diner, to the local teen hangout, and he stimulates... He was warned, we don't know how it works on humans. It hasn't been calibrated. Yeah. And it works on humans. Oh, it yeah, works it on does. humans. The men. Just yes. those... Man. All of a sudden, this carburetor guy goes from leaning over and leering at her to, I mean, it's almost like a cartoon where the like the steam comes off a pie yeah. and grabs <laughs> somebody by the nose and pulls them in. Except it's grabbing his it's junk. Making so me like the steam, grab- steam grabs their junk and just steam lifts grabs them junks. Off. And this guy gets just like doggy piled by every dude in this diner. Pack nerds, soda jerks, greasy spoon cook. Yes, name it, dude. All of yeah. all of the peni is on. <laughs> On Will Forte. And thank God they're it, thrusting because they break the machine. Yeah, they break the yes. machine. And I was I was actually thankful here for a 1984 movie. <laughs> it didn't devolve into like an extreme gay joke. Ugh. Like, yeah. Like one guy was like, I've never felt that way about a man before. That's all he really says. Then one of the other guys goes, I kind of like it. No, that's the same guy. Was it the same guy? That's the same guy. I've never felt that way about a man but before. But it was kind of interesting. Kind of interesting though. Yeah. I mean, like, so it's it's playful. I mean, the only really homophobic lovely. thing we have is Absinthe's line. where Because she, she comes, uh, Pia Zanora comes over to check on him. And she's like, oh, your, your medallion broke. And he's like, oh yeah. Thank God. It's just <laughs> the right time. Or... Truth oh, be told, that's quite fortunate. I'm, quite the, fortunate. I'm the president of the wealth. The first aid. The wealth first aid, aid committee. committee. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm mostly bogged doing down by administrative duties. Administrative duties. Are these real committees or are they just making yeah, shit up? That's in Spielberg, <laughs> Iowa, you fucking bet. That is the nipple of Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We, well, it has to be because it's on water. <laughs> yeah. It's right there by the Mississippi. But the Mississippi, I don't know if you've heard, but it's fucking gross. Have you heard our areola code? <laughs> Make sure you get the right areola code if you're mailing me anything. Pia Zadora asks, why is that so much easier than just saying Dee Dee? I don't know. Pia oh, Zadora. It's, it's my favorite name for an actress. Yeah, I mean, awesome. come on, dude. The only thing that would be weird is like if you're doing it, you know, and you're like, Pia, Pia. Oh, oh. Zadora! <laughs> Zadora! It's like Gattaca. I just got a hard Z drop. <laughs> Zadora! So she asks if he's going to be I the orgasm kid. like Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Zadora! <laughs> Did you just good that and ugly that? <laughs> 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 Oh, I just had a stroke. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to have one. I'm a fan of collaboration. I'm going to take me a stroke. <laughs> I could three. totally eat some toast right now. <laughs> Is anybody cooking eggs? <laughs> no, because they're a thousand dollars a carton right now. Oh, so I'm having a stroke. Yes. <laughs> so she right. is the head nurse yes, of the are. nipple of Iowa. <laughs> yes. Yes. And she asks him if he'll be at the cotillion. Yeah. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> So and much. he says, I'll be at the cotillion Will if you'll you be, be at there? the cotillion. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're basically they're eye-fucking each other already. She's like, wow, this guy's generic. Anytime she touches him, he does like a... It's... He starts shaking and ramping up like he's yeah. about to blow up again. No, my next note is premature ejaculation. And it's a, we see this guy's <laughs> face. Yeah. For sure. You're not going to come unglued again. Oh, and when they're... <laughs> I'm going to come something. They're sitting there trying to talk, and he just keeps... He's doing the same thing they did to Diane. He keeps touching her Probing. hair and like pushing her shirt and touching her face, and she's just like, okay. And... <laughs> again, we just Science. have to put up with it. Yep. They're out uh, of towners. Who she's knows? in a cheerleader outfit. She's in a total. She's in the outfit. This is what outfit number five. Oh, minimum. Um. So this, I would say, happy days. She's yeah. got like oh, the yeah. leather jacket, like the. Clock. She just got. She just got pinned. Yes, that's you know. The, yeah, the she total just got outfit. pegged, and then. <laughs> <laughs> I was going bye bye birdie here, pal. <laughs> oh. oh, I was going. Uh, what were you I talking about really? sex. Yeah, you went lesbian sex. He went alien. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a strap-on, but it's tentacles. Oh, come on. I <laughs> said that st- to myself. My strap-on's an alien. <laughs> Instead of my stepmom's so an alien. This next, song, <laughs> this next song is She Doesn't Mean a Thing to Me. When I can't remember who sang it. I just wrote down the name of the song. Was this... What? what? I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> That's the next song. I'll be honest, dude. When the music oh, comes no. on. 
This is when the, the one of the guys from the band is collecting samples of like leaves and there's like oh, a cow. Yeah, the cow. The He's like picking cow. flowers. And stuff. Oh, he but grabs song, this cow shit. Well, the song. So it's playing, it's Rema. Yeah, the, it's it's but it's like the song is like she doesn't mean a thing to me. And I'm like, well, that came right after this part where he was hitting on this girl. That's kind of fucked up timing. Maybe that was them there's pointing a drop. There's no feeling. There's a dropped plot where yeah. it's him arguing uh, with his or struggling with his emotions versus horniness. Yes. Yeah, and he's not able to separate writers. it. It's it wasn't not about the, the music script. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody expect him to eat that cow pie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. so close to it. He's down on the ground. He's like, he's, he's smelling it. Well, so this goes on to how they're plants. Because manure. Well, take and a he's bite. like, mm. He didn't take a bite of anything. I figured like he'd take a manure. bite. He'd take I a bite of a flower. Oh, I mean, we saw how they drank milkshakes. Is disgust yeah. emotion. I mean. He just no. He rubs that shit on his arms. Yeah, no, maybe they just saying. don't eat. I mean, so him picking up the shit was him eating it. Eating it. Oh. <laughs> he absorbed okay. it through his flesh. Poor right. skin. Also, stepping in cow pies in your bare feet and squishing it in your toes is an awesome feeling. Again, <laughs> Iowa. I'm cutting wow. that. All right. <laughs> you should cut that. I wish I could cut that from my brain. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we cut to one of the guys leaning against a fence. <laughs> this is me moving on. And he's just one of the band, uh, the one Stoics. of the aliens is leaning against uh, like a fence, just kind of chilling. And this chainsaw comes right through the fence it's to introduce plot, it is plot still number what, V. Yeah, it a, this is the third movie. Wasn't it a, a criminally insane like asylum? Yes. Oh, you have a picture of the, the Oh, the sign. sign. Oh, yes. Paramedics, that's right. paranoia, parachutes, and. Pair of shoes, the last one. This is great. So yeah, there's a sign that there's a sign at the, the asylum that directs you. Yeah, one sign says paramedics with an apostrophe, by the way, which is incorrect. The other sign, they all they all have they all have a grammar check that shit. Okay, there should be no apostrophe. No, they're doing it on, on purpose. I kind of feel Kiker rules. They like, did I guess this. Movie. This is the paramedics <laughs> building. This is the paranoia's building. It's this is the paramutuals building, and that's the parachutes <laughs> building. <laughs> and think it's it's the wacky guy, so yeah, it all yeah, fits. Yeah. This this eh, this eh, stunt is actually shoes, great it? though. This stunt is actually great. We got a real fucking chainsaw that pops out. You gotta have a lot of trust to be this guy. Oh yeah. And just stand there. Like anyone being on the set of Rust. Oh well, so no. In this case, <laughs> we topical. actually watched the behind the scenes. Yeah, there's a behind the scenes documentary, and they interview Michael Berryman in there, who is who's introduced here. He's Michael what? Berryman, character actor. Uh, yeah, he's he played chainsaw in this movie. That's what they call him. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was in he was in the Hills Have Eyes. He was in Weird Science. He's been in a bunch of shit. If you saw him, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that guy." Yeah, he's he the big he's un- the big weird looking dude from Hills yeah. Have Eyes, and so yep. he's in both of those. So he was working. He had already done Hills Have Eyes and a couple other movies, but he was working as like a lumberjack at the time that they called him to do this movie. So he's like, I know all about chainsaws and shit. So he shows up. And he went through this whole story where he sounded so proud of himself, but it really sounded kind of petty, honestly, where he's like, the prop master built the chainsaw and put it together. And I told him, don't fire that up, because if you do, you're going to die. And the guy was like, what? And he's like, you put the chain on backwards. So he had to, like, rebuild the chainsaw for the guy, which is funny, given his story in this movie. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he, yeah. And then, he can't build a chainsaw. And then he refused to do the scene of cutting through the fence. Because the actor, well, I'm not doing that scene. Yeah, well, the actor was like, you know, I don't need a stunt double. I can do it. And he's like, no, we could just do it like blue screen. We could do a stunt double. We could do anything. And he's like, no, I got it. It's fine. And this actor, to his credit, is very well, casual. Again, Does not, not blink. An actor. He's just a band. Well, yeah, not even a real true. actor. Yeah. Very true. He's just chilling on this fence, and this chainsaw is sawing all around him. And it's like they can't see you, guy. Like they could easily you just be trust like, whoops, your marks, there goes the top dude. of your head. Yeah. You gotta trust your marks. Yeah. So he would imagine to do spray it. painted on the fence. Yeah. On the other side, it's like you gotta do this fucking precise. That's so probably like, what they did. They probably did have him stand on the other side and did clear margins. But again, you still have to trust everybody yeah. involved. Yeah. Well, you have to hope that that dude doesn't all of a sudden just go, oh wait. Yeah, finger gone. No, oh, who's playing a bass guitar without a finger? Not so him. Nowadays, that stunt's not getting done. No, no, not the, just, especially no, not this way. Just yeah. No way. No, it would have been like a pre-cut wall that's got like they stuck a foam chainsaw through it. Yep. If they even did that, if they didn't just CG, I was it. gonna say we're green screen CGI yeah. that shit, dude. You're gonna have so. Ewan McGregor stand there acting with nothing but his hand, making lightsaber and noises. his dick out. I'd watch that. Ewan McGregor does that a lot. So Ewan it's... McGregor, green screen, dick out, sign me up twice. <laughs> it falls back, it just flops it in the face. <laughs> well, yeah. Christensen and pole dancing. All right. So yeah, the 
That came to my mind. <laughs> the fence falls. He falls uh, with it. Yeah, and he falls with it. And uh, uh, Michael Berryman standing there wearing his like prison uniform. Looking like Lurch. Yeah. Silent. Black and white stripes. Yeah. Classic Hamburglar situation. Yes. And what does he say? He's, an he's insane like, asylum. The, I think the, the band, the guy from the band says, says like, get out of my way. What, did I catch you at a bad Yeah, did I catch you at a bad time or, or something? Bad time. Yeah, Michael Berryman leaves, and then this other guy follows him, who I didn't write down, but is... Looks the, like Jeffrey Tambor. Yeah, yes. he's, he's like a weird homeless Jeffrey Tambor who carries around <laughs> like a, a dialysis machine that's an oxy- oxygen tank. Iron lung dialysis. And it stays, like there's a power cord running off of it the whole time, but yes. you never see the end of the power cord, so uh, they're implying that it stays plugged into the... I think it'd be a better joke if it was focused on because we barely noticed it, you know. If they well, if they made it a thing and it's just always plugged in and it's like it just drags around and people would trip on it, maybe I don't know. Well, and I and I, <laughs> I think again because like the prop people in this movie did a pretty good job, so I think that was their thing. Is they're like it's always off camera, it just trails off. Yeah. Who knows where it's going? Yeah. I saw oh, the cord behind. It's plugged it. in at the asylum still. I saw the cord behind it and I kept waiting for there to be like another small cart with a battery on it or a something. Generator, like yeah. <laughs> Those things where he pulls one cart and then he stops and the other cart runs up and hits it a little bit and then he pulls it again. That would have been fine to do so i the, like this though this like almost <laughs> horror movie plot starts it has nothing to do with anything but what about the tentacle <laughs> hey, we're, I, exactly we're it, it does come back around for one purpose and one Ooh. purpose only there was like chernobyl's how do we chainsaw. yeah to bring back chernobyl's chainsaw <laughs> like how do we get this chain that who's gonna cut the tip of the dick off this tentacle we gotta get a guy with a chainsaw are we talking about hentai all of a sudden or <laughs> oh, you know what? P is adoring some tentacle porn. It's almost happening. It's almost happening. I'm pretty sure it's probably happened. Check out Deviant Art. I'm sure it's there. <laughs> hey Alexa, check out Deviant Art. Uh, P is adoring tentacle porn. Oh, Thank shit. you. <laughs> Your Alexa turned on. That's that fucking hilarious. <laughs> And the, inter- and the listening. internet's not working, so she's just going to sit there and talk for three minutes about how... So unplug your router, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in. Well, what's uh, worse, uh, if she that or she found deviant art porn at Pia Zidora tentacle porn? Oh. I don't know what's worse. All right, we'll find out. <laughs> As you folks know, we like to have a beer or three while we podcast, and sometimes that leads to a not-so-pleasant morning after, unless we remember to hydrate people... That's where Liquid IV comes in. Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America, and it's now available in sugar-free with a proprietary zero-sugar solution that has no artificial sweeteners. I love using Liquid IV because it comes in convenient little packets you can take with you, makes me feel rejuvenated and hydrated, and best of all, it actually tastes good. Just one packet of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than just water alone, thanks to the eight vitamins and nutrients it has and it has three times the electrolytes of those other sports drinks we love liquid iv so much that we're offering you our loyal listeners a steal of a deal get 20 percent off when you grab your liquid iv hydration multiplier sugar free or any other variant at liquidiv.com and use the code worst people at checkout that's 20 percent off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code worst people at liquidiv.com If you've thought about recording a podcast before, but like myself, realize you need a lot of different tools and services, well, those days are over. With Zencaster's all-in-one podcasting platform, you can create your podcast all in one place and easily distribute to Spotify, Apple, and other major destinations. You can record studio quality sound and up to 4K video with your guests and feel a sense of zen knowing that Zencaster's multi-layered backups ensure you always have your recordings in the highest quality, even if the connection is unstable. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use my code worst people. That's W-O-R-S-E-P-E-O-P-L-E. And you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience I do for all my podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. So the pack now confronts <laughs> Absid. Uh, and they, they go into the Frankie's Girl song because they're confronting Absent about talking to Pia Zadora. Did we get to the part? Oh, no, this is it. Okay, yeah. 
We're Sorry. about like 25 so, yeah. minutes into this fucking movie. No, we're almost there. <laughs> almost where? Somewhere. <laughs> the finale. The Your third story, the second story. Your the suffering story. will be over soon, uh, my no, friend. No, it won't. It never ends. <laughs> they, they, they confront him at the teenage local hangout. Wrong yeah. order. It's fine. Local teenage <laughs> hangout. And they, they're they like, hey, can you come out back and help us uh, fix something? And he's he like, feeds oh, this I... dude a french fry, by the way, which I love. <laughs> oh, the guy's like, he's a problem ketchup. solver. The guy's like leaning in, trying to intimidate him. He's like, here's a little ketchup. Maybe that's what we'll have you shout out. Anytime, anytime, anytime movies, are, people were force fed. <laughs> Uh, Was anybody force fed and under siege? Get my pies out of the oven. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Feed. <laughs> no. Force fed. I can't do that. That's not funny. What, Has anybody movie? seen the movie Feed? I saw it with you. No, I, I'm sure I made you watch it. Yeah, when I, I first feel saw like it, it belongs on here, though. When I, I first saw it, I watched it like 30 times because I kept telling people about it and they were like, what? And then I I'll sh- watch had it to with show you. them. <gasps> that's yeah, me and JoJo Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but at least that's not a. Person who force bigger. feeds people till they're so fat that they die, and then he takes their fat and then force feeds them to the next fat person. Yeah. Oh man, that's a vicious fucking. Oh, yeah, and the movie yeah. starts with like this guy who's like an FBI sex crimes agent, and he like breaks into I this building. Eat yeah, he breaks into this house. No, no, it's worse than that. I don't yeah. know if it's worse. He breaks into this house, <laughs> and you see like this frying pan, and there's like a dick in the frying pan. And All you're right, like, that seems wrong. And he goes into the bathroom and there's a dude standing in the in this bathtub with blood all over his crotch and this other dude standing there like with him and the guy with the blood in his crotch is like, but I want to be eaten. Like that. So he's like having that other dude eat his dick. It's weird. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it's a fucked up movie. It's Australian. What can you say? This is why we have, this is why we have Not the much, little. Mike. Uh, this is what the little E on iTunes or I, I podcast or whatever is for. It's for educational. Oh, it's not for everyone? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. No. Tricky. So they get in a fight in the alley. Yeah. <laughs> they drag Ebsen out to the alley and they try to fight him. And he just makes this fucking force field appear around him that's just a clear plastic tube. Very, very <laughs> not even a tube. cheap it's clear like plastic. They wrap halfway shield. around him. Yeah. <laughs> And these guys are doing a good job for not being much actors. There's a lot of the band. Yeah, uh, this is the band. Jimmy yeah, with like a dang. belt, a chain. Yeah, tomahawk. Someone fucking busted yeah, out a tomahawk. tomahawk. <laughs> like, damn, dude, I was rough, y'all. Brass knucks. Flat gap, yeah, Putin. Putin. Putin? Putin. 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 Putin's breath knuckles. Putin's knuckles. Putin's knuckles. Um, did we? Oh, did we pass the car scene? Which one? Oh, where it's a fucking the clown entire, car pompadour. Yeah. Oh, this was the clown car. Yeah, yeah. this, this is they, them coming up. Yeah. Okay, so this is the this is your chance. You're fucking with my, my, my man's girl here. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, Pax man. There's 17 people what just in happened? this convertible. <laughs> a convertible clown car. Yeah, <laughs> that voice was like, it was like, it was like a fucking. One of those little things from the labyrinth is from... Your, all your shit ends up sounding like Rabbles, New Zealand. Wobbles, <laughs> it was like a brownie from New Zealand. It was a willow brownie that was from New Zealand. Why did you fucking with Yeah, I stole the baby while he was taking a pee-pee. <laughs> you stupid fucking daikini. <laughs> Fuck you. I am the leader and I know which way to go. It's like Shorzy with helium. <laughs> No, it's a tiny dude from New Jersey that wants to fight after he saw the movie Rocky. That's Philadelphia, but either way. Do you want to fight about it? I got two good ones right here. So we see Chainsaw now with Oxygen Tank in the... That's the dumbest statement you've said tonight. So we see Chainsaw and Oxygen Tank. So it's fucking nonchalantly throwing that don't shit they, out. Don't they call him Breather or something like that? In the, uh, oh, the subtitles? Has a name. I didn't know. No, I think in the in the credits they were oh, Breather. I didn't oh. notice. That would make sense. Breather. So I, I don't think I'd say this, but you watch more movie than I did. <laughs> yeah, you love this movie. God, yeah. no, I just remember way too much. <laughs> I stopped at Kiker. Yeah, so Kiker rules. Kiker Ch- rules. Chainsaw and Breather are the bastion of American freedom, the pawn shop, just buying a shopping cart full of guns, I don't think claymores, a pawn shop. Yeah, yeah, I gun think store. No, it looks store. like, I don't know. I mean, Dude, I want what's to say, the difference? Like, it the looked question. like in the background pawn shops walls, don't have like it was in real guns. You don't know it was that. like fucking just like wallpaper of guns. I don't know. I, I see all these guns in one place and this guy running it. It honestly really doesn't matter. I do think it's a gun shop, but it, it could easily be a pawn shop. They don't have chainsaws at a gun shop. Yeah, if you buy a bazooka had, a pawn that was his shop, chainsaw. I don't think you gotta okay. wait three days. Also, he had support. to have called this order in because dude was like... Or he like said a, it when he walked in. Mm. He walked Everything's in the front ready door. except 
The bazooka. The bazooka. <laughs> he had it, rockets. Which has long range capabilities. It doesn't yeah. matter. This movie it doesn't, doesn't matter doesn't because matter. you're not going to see any of them yeah. fired. You, you see them walking down the street with a cart full of guns, but. Bazooka. But 100%, this dude, that he did not get that chainsaw from there. That is his emotional support <laughs> chainsaw yes, we discovered that, that he had from the yeah. mental hospital. Well, we discussed that. I don't yes. think they ever actually cover where it came no, from. No, they don't cover it. We just see we see him chop his way out of this fucking place. <laughs> yeah, that's the chainsaw that he oh, yeah, kept from the beginning. Put an orange vest on it, dude. It's going with him. Oh, yeah, he did, he did that's chainsaw the one his he way used out. From so, yeah, there. I guess it's, that's his emotional right, support fair. chainsaw. I'm a, I'm a dumb. It How actually, I got we're, we're going to get to the plot of out. that chainsaw later. There's a whole spinoff of this chainsaw. <laughs> Was that in Texas? And it, no, it's called Chainsaw 4. Oh, okay. Chainsaw. <laughs> there the was no movies. one through three. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we, Dee Dee and Absent are, are like talking to each other, and Dee Dee kisses him, and like, this is when he, he comes he, again. Like, walk her to woo! school. Oh, he comes. Yeah, he's walking her somewhere. He walks her to school. Is it school? Yeah, she mentions it. Uh, by yeah. the way, I'm going to assume fairly safely that Absent is over 18. Yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna pray everyone in this movie is over 18 because it gets a little sexy. Yeah, but they, they this takes place at Heidi High, which yeah. is hilarious. Heidi, Heidi High, High is a great name for a high school. <laughs> so yeah, he comes again. He steams all over himself. Twice. <laughs> and uh, well, he gets himself Steam under control. Oysters. He gets himself under control. She walks away, and then he's just like, like he a lays fucking down, whistle from a Looney Tunes. And he lays tunes. down, the, or falls down on the ground, just takes a hard nap. Yeah. Yeah. Out. I mean, come on, dude. You've never napsturbated? Where you just jack off so hard, you're going to fall asleep? <laughs> Take a Tylenol uh, PM, and then you jerk off, and you see which one works. Either way, you win. You always Who finishes win. first? You always win. No, Frankie <laughs> comes to, I think this is when they're setting up the dance, sorry, the cotillion. <laughs> No, you can call it a dance. <laughs> yeah. I can never hear that word again and be and happy. He's, 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 Frankie's looking for the aliens. He's like, where are those fucking weird-ass motherfuckers? And they're like, well, they're not here because we're setting up the fucking dance. Yeah. They're performing here. Well, they have, they have have the security is tight. Yeah. They so will well, not let them yeah, in. Yeah, he like sets up. Theodora? Toit. Toit. He sets up his band slash gang slash hoodlums as security. Like, you take the front, you take the back, da 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 uh, what, is, what instrument do you play? The brass nooks. <laughs> and you see a, a breather looking oh, yeah. through the rafters. High, look, like in very the high windows. Is he in the rafters? I thought he was on the window side. No, he's on the rafters yet. That's later when oh, he drops okay. the sandbag. So he's just At on... this point, he's looking through windows, but they're like really high up, oh, so I'm really confused he, about how he's he he standing, standing on his fucking tray features? or whatever. No, he took no, his breather up out, to the balcony somehow. He's outside, yeah. He's outside looking through the windows, and he's just got a knife in his hand, and he's just smiling, and you're like, what other movie is this? Yes. <laughs> There's a slasher flick here that didn't follow up on. Voyage yeah. of the Rock Aliens Massacre 2, starring <laughs> Dennis Hopper. <laughs> Jeffrey Tambor. <laughs> so he's just stalking him, and he's like smiling to himself. And then... I have another pointless scene where we go back to the sheriff's office and her like deputy is there and some guy, something happened to him. I, oh, the chainsaw, yeah, chainsaw, the chainsaw, chainsaw cut murder. off his arm. And so they just have the arm on a stretcher. Well, they killed him. Like, he yeah. Killed him. yeah. Well, they killed him, but they just have the arm on a stretcher. And it's sticking out, and they're like, yeah, they he got him. They got at him at the fried chicken stand. Yeah, and they like <laughs> he's still holding the chicken in his hand. So it's clearly a fake hand, and then when they cut to it, it's a real hand holding chicken. Because the deputy, yeah, the deputy takes the also chicken. The choreographer, no, no, oh, acting, oh. Coach. acting coach. coach. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> this deputy is the acting coach. Get those coach. specifics in here. <laughs> well, um, you want to know who to blame, Patrick? Not oh the dance gosh, coach. No. The acting. <laughs> you want to know why everyone's such a bad actor? It's this fucking no, curly haired dude. I wasn't blaming so, the actors. So he, <laughs> he takes the chicken chicken leg, which already has a bite out of it too. Like you're just it's in the drumstick. window, like, hey, give me that drumstick. <laughs> I'll All wait right. for the rest. Are you going to sit here and pretend like you haven't had a road thigh? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I feel like because his arm was chopped off, his arm was out the window like getting the food. So it's like he was like, this chicken isn't cooked enough. I don't understand why he's oh, I thought he was all the way under that thing, uh, under I the sheet. Well, we because just... when they show it, when they show it, so when they show the close-up and it's a real arm, the sheriff, or the deputy takes the chicken and eats it, and the hand like starts searching for it. Yeah. But then when they cut to the, the wide shot, it's a 
Just a dead. It's, it's just, just a fake arm. arm. It's I just got an you. Arm. I thought there was a body under. I guess that it could sheet. be implied because there's a whole sheet, but there's just no bump. It's like they yeah. they were like, we can't afford a whole dummy. We can afford an arm. Oh, they they blew the budget on tentacles. I feel like <laughs> yeah, you, I did. feel like it could have just <laughs> had a, a lot Ten- of. Oh no, there's, no, there's more there's than one. There's more there's than the, one. The, the, the later on, they wrap up. The we're whole getting there. It's just one the Castellum, or whatever that fucking bullshit word is. Castellum? Isn't that the guy that does voices? Isn't that the guy that does the voices on Simpsons? That's oh Castellum. God, I, just, I like to court girls What's the with C word? Cotillion. 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 For a word you hate, you can't remember it very well. I'm blacking it out. So. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. You're going to wake up tomorrow and be like, what did I do last night? <laughs> but for some reason... Who hurt you? Cotillion did. Cotillion. But for some reason, you'll just have that song stuck in your head. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think at all. I want them loving me. So the sheriff calls this guy's wife to tell her. There's that no she said, easy way to do this. This is oh. the worst. Part yeah, of my this job. is the best line in the whole. It fucking reminds movie. me of oh, Brain Patrick's Dead. It part. reminds me of Brain Dead, where the guy was like, "Well, party's over when fucking Bill Pullman dies." <laughs> She calls. She's like, I'm looking for the widow of whoever the fuck. John Doe, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, she's Mr. like, Mr. Lamont. And the lady goes, was. widow? I think, Or I think you're mistaken. I'm not a widow. And she goes, well, you are now. No, just hangs up the like, phone. She doesn't say oh, that. Oh, the hell you're not. The, the hell, hell you're not. not. Yeah. I'm looking for the widow of whatever Lamont. Oh, I'm not a widow. The hell you're not. Hangs yep. up. Brutal. Hard truth, dude. <laughs> Love it. Hard truth, no Ruth. nonsense, sheriff. Go yeah, Ruth, just man. what Spielberg, did the, Iowa. Did you notice needs. the badge the on her? The, the yeah, it's yeah. their their badge <laughs> on their arm is a radioactive. <laughs> Which symbol. at first I was like, that's weird, and I was like, oh, because the lake. Yep. And then they it, said, and like, she says later on that there's like a nuclear flash freezing facility or something yeah. on the lake. I mean, we're seeing this now with Cincinnati. Fun, their their yeah. waters are all fucking poisoned. Well, you've got the Lake's train, the train that that crashed in Ohio. There's a train. There's another one. That just crashed in like the Detroit area, and then don't forget the one that crashed and then here. The I semi that crashed here. Right fucking... Yeah, I think it's a chore- it's a choreographed attack. Co- co- coordinated. We're talking about moving <laughs> the eighties, so it's definitely the Russians. Can't just be a coincidence. Well, I wouldn't think so. Maybe. I know three fucking. I mean, the car, the the semi, maybe, but two fucking chemical trains crashing. Yeah, like in a week of each other. Okay, so they go to. One part <laughs> so we're we're back at the cotillion, or now we're at the cotillion. It's starting. Oh. <laughs> the first song we get it's 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 Rima Rema playing right the first song is the troublemaker or it's no it's it's J- Johnny the, the no, yeah, Mustangs are Johnny, playing because they're the, the openers right so the, the the robot does an assessment of the situation he's like I don't see a way for you to get in That's without right. this door and he's less, like but less than one percent of violence or something I have an like unconventional that. way that you can get in. Okay, now yeah. we get all these dudes in a bathroom, and all of a sudden, you get a really good line. Oh, holy shit! Well, that co- that, that's holy after, shit! What's up with that crapper? <laughs> that's right after the troublemaker song, though. So Johnny and the Jets or Is whatever it? are playing the troublemaker Jimmy song because the Mustangs. They, Jimmy and the Mustangs are playing the troublemaker Johnny song and the Jets. because this this is when but Chainsaw but comes to the cotillion yeah. and he starts yeah. fighting the sheriff. That happens right before, or that's happening while they're oh, teleporting. Oh, yeah, but they're in. dancing to it. Yeah, so because the old, old troublemaker old man, song is, is reading newspaper, falling asleep out there, fighting. <laughs> oh, that's right. Is that some New Zealand action right there to you? Is that from New Zealand? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I stand like I'm from New Zealand? <laughs> this is this is where you need the three way translation, like Hot Fuzz, where he just looks at the other the other guy. <laughs> and he's like, uh, yeah, head head. Uh, not for this one, or for this one, he does. <laughs> but yeah, so you, got, you got an old man sleeping C-mine. while they're doing a pretty fucking cool dance fight. Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. they're like they're like they're literally doing a dance to the song, but there's like a knife involved. And there's it's okay. almost like the scene from Annie where the moppers are like, they have the stick and one is like standing up and the other one's like doing the little This movie's twirl. just like Annie. <laughs> just there's that a ginger. One, but there's a really cool... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the hey, podcast. that's our word. <laughs> this, right, but it starts with a chainsaw. I was wondering why he gets, he's using this so much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he gets disarmed and he picks up an electric bread knife. Yes. Or carving knife. I was about to say. It was uh, like by the way, carving, yeah, carving knife. He so cuts through powder? the gun. 
right? Like, <laughs> sorry. Cuts through the gun. What's he get after the uh, the bread knife? He gets uh, or the carving knife. The whiskers. The, the, the electric yeah, egg, egg beaters. beaters. Yeah. Because he's gonna and then he fi- he follows it up with an electric can opener. This guy grabs a can and puts it in front of him so it opens. It's bean <laughs> juice everywhere. Bean juice all over the deputy. All over. And then he ends with the electric toothbrush. toothbrush. Yeah, which he grabs his electric toothbrush and he goes to shove it in the deputy's mouth. And I was like, huh? Uh. He just grabs some random like basement janitor's toothbrush. <laughs> maybe <laughs> even maybe even more gross is the amount of fucking foam toothpaste yeah. that just pours Ran out of this man's there mouth. There was no yes. toothpaste on this toothbrush. He shoves it in his mouth and starts going. And it just, Are they saying it comes out of the just toothbrush? Just foam. No, so I mean, they're just doing like, a fun practical effect. Well, they're doing it's, a fun... It's, it's a silly effect because it's a toothbrush and it's foam. But in the if you're trying to look for a realistic implication is that this is the dirtiest... This guy doesn't rinse. Yeah. <laughs> There's still toothpaste <laughs> in this toothbrush. <laughs> Disgusting. But so uh, he, he, he takes him out. Yeah, he brushes his teeth and then just gets up and leaves. Yep. Like, yeah. he's like, well, I won. Yep. Your breath is minty fresh. Oh, how do you serve dominance, pal? <laughs> I'm going to cut off chicken guy's arm, but I'm going to just brush your teeth. <laughs> Character <laughs> development. Yes. So this is when they teleport into Sorry, the bathroom no, stalls. <laughs> so the men's restroom apparently doesn't... Oh, this is the school. Never mind. I was like, this doesn't have pictures of Frankie on the doors. Oh, those dudes ain't having it. Although yeah, no, some this, might. This is the school. So so you all the aliens appear. Like They so appear far. in the toilet. Like, the toilets start bubbling and shit. And all these guys yeah. are in there smoking weed. And uh, the the... the what is subtitles Glenn? actually refer to them as smoker. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe they're just smoking cigarettes. What the, it's, you know, holy, holy shit. shit. What's up with in the, the crapper? Bathroom. Yep. And then he's, someone says crap, something, holy no, crap. No, holy shit, what's wrong with the crapper? Wasn't there another one after that? There's I another think so. I think that was line. just us talking. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm mixing up everything now. <laughs> and then, I exist well, what in happened a world to that doesn't Stovitz? exist. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. He's in the urinal. Stovitz, I think I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. He doesn't five say that. Stalls. But you hear, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. You hear <laughs> yes, it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was expecting as yeah. well. Yeah, I think yeah. I took a wrong turn. He's sticking out of the urinal. They just didn't want to get sued. They're like, dude, we can't lose money. We're going to lose money in this movie anyway. We can't lose more yeah, money. Yeah, I mean, I... I'm hoping at this point they've made some money back. But the movie apparently didn't really even get like a theatrical release. Like there was all this stuff that happened afterwards, all yeah. this like legal whatever mumbo jumbo, and it never really got released until it came out on VHS. And even then, it was like hard to find. So yeah, this we went actual, out of our way to watch it. Well, this actual <laughs> Blu-ray release. Yes. Glad we did. Like when they were interviewing these guys about like how do you feel about it now with this re-release coming and stuff, they were all like everybody who they interviewed was only a handful of people, but they were like. I think it's fucking cool that people are actually like awaiting a release of this film yeah. on like home video on disc, and we're doing interviews about it. So, you know, um, except for Burns, couldn't be bothered to have been seen. He was only audio. Oh, we don't know his personal life though. We don't know. Well, none of the on. actors were Maybe there or anything. Like in well, protection. all the band though. If you go to the interview, all the band show like they, he's all the just, other. So the guy who plays Stovitz is only audio. Okay. Maybe he's in Witzak. Like, Maybe hey. he's missing all of his teeth, and he's ashamed. Yeah, maybe. Or he just wasn't available he that day. He moved to Yuma and he just... Oh, he never left Yuma, pal. And they don't have good Wi-Fi there. They don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> they don't have internet. What's they have, Wi-Fi? They don't, have, like, they don't have running With water. Mm-hmm. They're still using Nokia phones. <laughs> oh, plain snake. Terrible. Plain snake. No, no, no. Their phones are pre-snake. How dare you? <laughs> I think I live pre-snake. Is there even a world? So now we got the know. group. We got the band in. <laughs> so... Yes. Real quick, we cut back to the sheriff's office, and she calls gets a call about something. The only thing I wrote down, because like, I remember, is the picture of Clint Eastwood is on her desk. It's yes. the de- it's the deputy calling her, the acting. Call. Oh, to yeah. tell yeah, to tell her. Did that you the, find the him? Killers he gave the- Patrick hit me the hit me the line. He gave me the brush off. He gave me <laughs> the brush off. <laughs> well, I I Delivered like a pure acting coach too. Yeah. Oh, flawless. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, he's, he's like, oh, the serial murderers are at the high school. And she's like, cool, bye. And then, like, t- t- takes I think she time. says, like, oh, don't, don't worry about that. We're worried about the aliens. Loonies. Yeah. Looney Tunes or something. She says something with loonies. She hates high school kids. She's like, fuck it, dude. They're just killing high school kids. I'm she's worried like, about aliens. aliens. Those really guys are shitheads anyway. She, she was the sheriff at the town of Camp, where Camp Crystal Lake is. She was the sheriff <laughs> where the town where Elm Street is. She was the sheriff in, uh, what's the, not Shermer, Illinois. That's John Hughes. Where is it? Illinois? I don't remember. The town Normal? that fucking the town that fucking uh, Halloween takes place in. Oh, nobody it's, cares. Maybe it's Indiana. So I believe Shut this up. is the part where Frankie is walks in. Is it the in. chode of Indiana? 
The chode. Or yes. the nipple of Iowa. It's possible. <laughs> the state has cum gutters. <laughs> so it's the it's... cum gutters of Il- Illinois. Oh, that's a great question. What state has cum gutters? So this is the part where Frankie comes in and he's like, what the fuck, guys? And slaps all five of Jimmy and the Jets. It's like the five stooges. Yeah, across the face. He's like, what the fuck are they doing in here? Yes, because the aliens got in and they're playing now. Yeah. They're doing their song with Pia. Which, not yet. She, They haven't started yet. Oh, because okay. she's like, yeah. I'm not singing with you. They do a I'm great history. Them. Which, when did that fucking well, happen? I think he, sexy Will Forte talked her into it. Like, yeah, they had he their came little in. short talk. And... He's like, yo, dude, if exactly. homeboy's not going to let you play... Come over here. Sing for get with band. the get rid of the hero and <laughs> sleep with a zero. <laughs> huh? Okay, ice. Ice. <laughs> baby. That's that's uh, Frankie flame, the flame whole baby. time though. Oh, that's yeah. the opposite of Ice Ice Baby song. Because <laughs> you a ginger. So you well, flame. it's also stolen a little bit from Earth Girls Are Easy. Uh by the way, they which are. is happening. We almost did that today. I love <laughs> Gina Davis. Yeah. But it's just, it's not a good movie. I mean, it's good in the sense that this movie is good. Oh my god, I've never seen you look so angry before. It's a great movie. It's good in the sense that this movie and Miami Connection are good movies. I, when I say it's a good movie, my enjoyment of it is yeah. good. Yes, there you go, Patrick. That's what I was going to say enjoyment. earlier, Patrick, when you asked. So my le- I, like, I do the letterbox thing, I check in movies. When I said, I was like, this isn't a great movie, this isn't a good movie, but I was entertained as hell. Yeah, Miami Connection. I gave Connection. it four stars. Miami Connection on paper is trash. <laughs> In my mind, it's fucking gold. <laughs> Why did I burp tequila right now? Like, to the song? Which also played in this movie. Yeah, kind no, of. it was Latin-tinged rock and roll. Latin-tinged <laughs> rock and roll. No, it was tequila. And no, it ended up being... Uh, down in the Mississippi, down in New Orleans. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's right. But it started straight as... Latin tinge rock and roll tequila. Yes. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The subtitles literally said Latin tinge rock and roll. We were like tequila. Yep. And then all that stuff exploded. <laughs> <laughs> what movie was that? Your mom. He's like tequila and hits the button. Pee Wee Herman. No. <laughs> I no. say we let him go. <laughs> he hits the button and everything explodes. <laughs> you watched a very different Pee Wee movie than we did. Uh, me and Paul Rubens, we go ways back. <laughs> I don't think we've done a podcast without talking about Paul Rubens. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's a bad movie podcast. So. Uh, Paul Rubens, if you listen to this, please come and uh, watch and record with oh, us. Oh, if you tell that guy to come. I... <laughs> you got to be careful. He might do it in public. I, it is me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> please come. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. So they're doing the Let's no, Dance not. Tonight song now because she goes to sing with the aliens. And we have the 80s synth version of Let's Dance Tonight. And then uh, Jimmy and the Mustangs cut in with their, like, rockabilly kind of semi-swing. Like, yeah. They have their version. And I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. I mean, they're both really good in their own way. I'm typically going to like the rockabilly version more. The rockabilly one is is, is more rock and roll. It's more, like, cool kind of. And then, like, the 80s synth one is very 80s synth, which I like 80s synth stuff, too. But if you're going to do them against each other, yeah. Yeah. Yep. But uh, the the crowd keeps running back and forth, very like very like, fickle crowd, dude. Whoever's playing louder, that's where I'm going, pal. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're like, oh, it's, you're stopping. Let me go over here now. I, the second reference to Scott Pilgrim this episode, where they do the stage to stage battle, and the crowd just has to go whichever side's fucking louder. Uh huh. And those this fucking movie DJs created so many spinoffs. A hundred percent. I've one million percent guarantee you that fucking. Um, uh, you know it. Yeah, he's one of my favorite directors, but I can't think of his name right now. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know that shit. Halofsky? No, the guy, uh, Shaun of the Dead and... Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta? <laughs> Edgar... Edgar Wright. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Edgar Allen Wright. Edgar yeah, Allen I guarantee Poe. you Edgar Wright saw this movie. Yeah. If you see... like, And he probably puts, liked it. He puts out like favorite movie lists and stuff like that. Like You'll see him online. And it's always got like it's got like some of those big ones you expect, and it's just got a bunch of shit you've never fucking heard of. And you go look it up, and you're like, okay. "Of course, that's your favorite movie." There's a podcast <laughs> called "Films to Be Buried With," with Brett Goldstein, who plays uh, he's in uh, Ted Lasso. Okay. He's yeah. set to be Hercules. The he's, MCU. he's Hercules guy in the MCU. He uh, has a two part old interview guy in with Lasso. Edgar Wright, and it's actually amazing. The old soccer player, where you find that Edgar Wright does oh, not like mystery science theater. Player? Sorry. I'm 
Say and he that plays again. Roy yes. Kent. Yeah. Roy Ed- Kent. Edgar Wright does not like mystery science theater because he I likes those Edgar movies Wright. so much that he doesn't like people making fun of them. So guarantee <laughs> he watched this movie and enjoyed all the practical effects and enjoyed it for what it is. I, that makes me, that's a little disappointing to me. Because I can enjoy people making fun of movies, obviously. Listen to the interview, while still loving yourself. The this part will probably all get cut, but yeah, it's a great fucking podcast. Yeah, I can still listen to them, and like I can listen to people make fun of it though, and still love the movie. Absolutely, you know. But that's. How but we also aren't humor. filmmakers, and yeah, this dude right. has. I mean, he went to school for this that. This dude has put his heart and soul into a movie before, and probably had somebody shit on it, and that sucks. So he's um, watching these people do it, like, hey, yeah, they're trying. His first movie that he ever made, which was like his, like he made with friends and stuff. I haven't been able to find it. His clerks. It's, uh, it's well no before because it wasn't really his clerks was kind of spaced which was a TV oh, show oh yeah you know? I know space yeah. but he did a movie called Fistful of Fingers that was like a spoof of like Fistful spaghetti of westerns dollars. yeah Fuck and I yeah. haven't been able to find it but I've I've heard all terrible things about it but I still want to watch it cause yeah he's one, of, he's one of my to. favorites dude I just rewatched all of his movies you're also a completionist. Yeah. Well, yeah. He really is. Oh, I know. I'm <laughs> but I just rewatched every movie that <laughs> he, he like with him for seven years <laughs> from. Like, I'm not a completionist there. From Shaun of the Dead, <laughs> like I went from Here's Shaun of the beer, Dead. Bitch. <laughs> I went from Shaun of the Dead to Last Night in Soho. Watched them all, and like each time I watched one, I was like, "No, that's the best one. I yeah, love, no, that's the best one." <laughs> I loved Last Night in Soho. That's the only one that I didn't end up at the end going, no, that's the best one. But okay. I didn't think... I saw it in theaters and I was kind of like, meh. I watched it again and I was like, this movie's awesome. So, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, those are good movies. Edgar Wright <clears throat> will not be on this podcast. <laughs> Maybe one day. Hopefully one He's day. been on a bunch of podcasts. He just. I does... mean, his movies will not be on this podcast. Oh, yes. no. Yeah. Unless it's a mental just kinda, health day. Oh, oh, yeah. I think, like I said earlier, we owe... You owe Patrick a mental health day <laughs> where he gets to pick a movie that oh you get to torture him. <gasps> he's, just gonna, he's just gonna bring in, he's just gonna bring he's just gonna bring in YouTube live. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, you're right, it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong. Make you gotta me sit watch, down and listen to Bono. Make me watch that across the universe yeah. garbage or something. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, Jackass. What was that other That's movie? Ridiculous. What was that other movie that ripped off oh, all it is the ridiculous? What was that other movie that ripped off all the Beatles songs? Uh, Yesterday, uh-huh. or whatever, where they were like erased from history, and so we got to listen to them for the whole movie. And I was like, "But they were erased. It's the better timeline." <laughs> now we're back in the Ooh, darkest timeline. Man, I'm I'm with you on this, but there are gonna be some upset people. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So Frankie finally sings during this song, yes, by the way. this is the part where... Speaking of people who can't sing. He does the yeah. back-to-back thing Yeah, three share words. a microphone. Three yeah. words? Yeah, he does like a couple uh, words couple and then he does another lines. line. And he's like, basically chorus. the Flava Flav of the band. Yes. Yeah. The Frankie the Frank. Man. Yeah, he's the manager hype man. He's the Frankie Frank. <laughs> Frankie Frank of the pack. <laughs> and then like, this is when we go back to the other movie... That's happening. So Diane enters like a, an oh. em- abandoned hallway or an empty beep, hallway. Beep, we did forget beep, to mention uh, that Dee Dee did hallway. in fact break up with Frankie to join the other band. Yep. Yeah, she, she said, "I'm through with you." Yeah, she told him, to "You're my girl." Day. Used to be. Used to be. Zing. We're history me. now, and history uh, never no, repeats itself. The comeback isn't. I'm not property. It's no. I used to be your yeah. girl. Now I'm his yeah. girl because I'm still property. I'm just somebody it's else's property, you bitch. <laughs> I took off my BUM equipment shirt. It doesn't say property of you anymore. <laughs> Get it? Property yeah. of... All right. Oh, there's yeah. a point, though. She's wearing an MC... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Not an MCU. <laughs> that would be great. A USMC, like, full sweater skirt. Dress. Like, sweater, sweater dress. dress. Yeah, it's yeah. like a sweater home dress. knitted sweater dress no. that says USMC. I'm really it. actually Honestly. thinking about it now. I wonder if the prop master is was, was, was a fucking Marine. There's no such thing yeah. as an ex-Marine. Yeah. Probably. It's a marine, always a marine. It almost looked like it was a well, sack that was cut. <laughs> you were never a marine, pal. I don't know. It looked like it was like a, a crocheted, <laughs> like... Oh, maybe it was Like a hand-knitted, yeah. like, sweat, yeah. sweat, okay. sweat, sweat dress. <laughs> Her grandmother was a, was a fucking and nasty it was orange, grunt. Why does right? sweatshirt and sweatpants no, sound fine? No, it had that maroon with the off-yellow kind of thing. I swear it was orange and green. It they was not some... maroon maroon. It was a reddish. They had mar- It was marine colors. <laughs> yeah, it was a marinish. If you really want to know, you should watch the movie for yourself. He's you like, please should let me stop We're gonna get talking to that. about this. We're going to get to that, Patrick. So we should re-enter. We're re-entering the second third movie whatever's <laughs> happening here 
a band uh, hallway. Yeah, the murder the murder movie that never turns into a murder movie. The slasher with no slashing. <laughs> oh yeah, Diane's slasher, walking no down the hallway. Uh, slashing no slashy. The slasher no slashy. Well, she chased <laughs> after Frankie because she wanted to bang Frankie. Yeah, she's yeah. trying to find Frankie in this Ooh, abandoned hallway. Hell yeah, you have suck him yeah, into this Which doesn't make sense though cuz Frankie's on stage performing at this moment. She's trying to go the back way. Oh, she wants to go right. in the back. She door. wants to enter the backstage. Double and That's another pegging joke. Hell yeah. All right. Um Take it. So she's like, hey, Frankie, are you there? Whatever. And then fucking Chainsaw enters, comes up well, behind her. He's been there. He's fucking he's radiator. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. On the radiator. He's standing on the radiator sticking out halfway into the hallway. That's right. She didn't see a chainsaw. That's where he did his best shadow work. Like, he, he's, yes. he's actually behind the wall, like the little, the little corner wall thing. Chainsaw is hidden. Yeah, but his giant chainsaw is sticking out, and yeah. she's just like, <laughs> "Well, the That's guy weird. chainsaw's hidden. You, yeah. you're confusing. Chainsaw with a capital C is hidden. <laughs> chainsaw with a lowercase C is sticking Pronoun out. Pronoun his... chainsaw. <laughs> his his uh, unit, his, if you will. Yeah. His unit. His, his unit's unit? exposed. So he starts chasing her with his unit. Yeah, and she runs. You know, typical horror movie stuff. Runs in, shuts the door, and watches him for thirty seconds. Runs backwards. It's not even running. It's yeah. like mild. Jog. Take the fucking heels off and run. Speed walk. Yep. There we go. She's... It's not even speed walk. The girl <laughs> with the candy bar bandoliers did more running than she a did. A thousand percent. <laughs> nice exactly. callback. That girl was running so much. Speaking of Chekhov's machine gun. What are we doing? Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. 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 Chainsaw. Putin's there brass knocks. There you go. Uh, so Chainsaw gets into the room with his chainsaw and starts chasing Diane and she hides her. behind a drum. Yeah. Which like is a, a great Tiffany place to hide. Uh, and I, uh, exactly yeah, and I thought he was going to like solve the drum in half or whatever. Brad. But his, 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 his drum. His emotional <laughs> support chainsaw. Yeah, his Thank emotional you. support chainsaw dies. Oh, and, and he gets very sad, and he's like, "Oh, it's kind of a funny moment, though." He's like, "Can me? you, can you hold on?" Yeah, this never yeah. happens. Could, yeah, could you hold on just a moment? And she's like, uh, "Can't you get it on?" Sure. <laughs> it's the equivalent to like turning around in the bed and trying to chub yourself up real quick. Yeah, no, just me. Just too many distractions. I, I'm just gonna get Spit. the. I'm just gonna get a towel. But we're not done. I'm gonna get a towel. Hold on. Real quick. <laughs> So yeah, look, can't you get it on? And I kept, I was really waiting for the, this never happens. Yeah. But it doesn't happen. Yeah, I'll wait. And he's trying to get his chainsaw started. And we go to Pia and Absid at the lake. And she's finally explaining why this lake's made of acid. She says acid rain, but then she talks about like the nuclear fra- flash freezing facility. It was acid and... rain that did it. And he's like, oh, but you tried to fix it or, oh, it was, you know, it was, it was taken before that and he, or at that time. And she goes, oh, well, there's also that toxic waste dump that's in the lake too. So the acid rain doesn't matter. It does I think not. It, I think little the bit toxic a, caused the acid waste. Like it's a whole but the way she circle. said it, it's like, oh, it's the acid rain. Oh, that was it. Well, before the acid rain, though, there was the <laughs> well, what, chemical I think dump. This is, the way I took it was there's the frozen flash food drive, whatever. Oh, that's what it was. Like frozen like caused, nuclear, nuclear flash freezing food facility. Caused the acid rain. Shots fired at TV dinner. Nuclear. Then, well, S is silent, dummy. <laughs> yeah, it's nuclear, stupid. <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> uh, uh, get it? Nuke this is one microwave. You nuke it. Oh, we get it. <laughs> but I think she was saying that that caused the acid the, rain, yeah. which caused the lake to. Uh, this is one of the many sequence. social issues that this movie touches on. Yeah, before we've got it's pollution, done. we've yeah. got uh, transphobia, homophobia. We mentioned we've got Scientology. Scientology is mentioned, and I'm hopefully in a disparaging way. I don't. Uh, oh, taxes. Yes. Yeah, he Come talks taxes. shit about. We'll taxes. get to that. The emotions. Yes. Oh, you don't have emotions. Oh, it hasn't it helps with yet, tax yeah. season. Uh, there was another. It does not other address misogyny. <laughs> uh, well, that's because it's nineteen eighty four. Well, yeah, misogyny. Yeah. Changed what I was about to say is misogyny didn't exist yet, but it did. The word didn't. <laughs> so speaking of change, let's get let's get back to this movie because now she's helping him work on the chainsaw. Well, yes. real quick, while they're talking about the acid, like the tentacle comes up and just like dingles behind fucking Absinthe's head and then just kind of goes away, and you're like, <laughs> okay. okay, I don't know what that's about. It also like the can tentacle. travel through the like. In the ground. That's oh, sure. how it gets to and the, the school. Grab the, boys. the principal, <laughs> yeah, that early scene is very graboid. Yeah. Like, and he explained how it worked in the behind the scenes documentary, and it's great. Uh, the principal comes in before we get to the chainsaw. The we principal, have to stop the dance. We have to cancel the dance. 
There have been multiple murders. And Here the kids are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let us enjoy our cotillion, goddammit. Hey, Dean and Wormer, get out of here. This here is comes where Breather is sitting. Old Breeze Witherspoon. The, is it gra- the Raptors, right? <laughs> yeah, now he's in the Raptors yeah. with, I think, Derek's favorite prop. Oh, yes. The yeah, Heidi High. The sandbag that's literally labeled. Okay, I get it if it's labeled Heidi High or yeah. Heidi High Drama Department. Yeah. It says Heidi High Drama Department sandbag. sandbag. Yep. Yeah, I fucking know it's a sandbag. I stole it. Clearly I see where stuffed, it is. Clearly stuffed with cotton. <laughs> yeah, this guy grabs it and it just squoosh. <laughs> um, so he's standing up there and he's trying to measure out and like have the sandbag go flying down to the principal. Near miss. He swings like, the sandbag down. Principal near has miss. no idea. Now, Jimmy and the Mustangs are loving it. They're going, ooh, so close. And they're pantomiming like a little bit left, a little bit left. You got it. You got it. You lined it up perfect, buddy. They Perfectly. are full on waiting for, for this principal to take it. <laughs> yeah, he gets hit with the sandbag and you're pretty sure that he's dead. <laughs> I, I still maintain shattered spine, paralyzed. This dance is over. Flash cut to this dude face down just going, hello. I mean, this is minimum a 20 pound sandbag because these sandbags are meant to hold up lights and stuff. Like they have the yeah. counterweights for like lights and props. And All right, like, you nerd. Well, curtains. Well, it's, it's like Home Alone. It's you ever nice. dropped a paint can on your foot? Dude, that shit's like, like you'll 20 You'll break pounds. your toe. Now put that paint can on your face. Think about like velocity and just. Velocity. 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 <laughs> a V. v oh, I started, v- thinking, v- I started v- thinking frizzy hair. V. Ooh, Carrie Talking Russell. very fast. Talking very Pinting fast. Pinting V frick, frick. isn't a word. <laughs> Just something so, they say to sell more shampoo. But I think we're now tentacles After, wrapped yes. around the high school. Well, yes. they, she, this is where he tells her first that he's an alien. Night is gone. Oh, yeah. Absent, we go back to the beach. Because this cuts back and forth so much. It doesn't make any sense. Like, There's a part before he tells her that she's an, he's an alien. That we are with Chainsaw and Diane, and she's like, what is going on with your chainsaw? When, when, when did he, when about did he, Chainsaw <laughs> Diane. <laughs> I was about to say, when when did a uh, fucking, what the fuck's his name? God damn it. Cougar? No. Smelling camp? <laughs> Ted Danson? Ted Danson. When did Ted How many Danson? How about you talking about Ted Danson? <laughs> I've, been, I've been drawing blanks all night. When did Ted Danson play a character named Chainsaw? <laughs> I believe that was Made in America. A little guy oh, about Chainsaw and Diane. I like that better. Okay, but I went like, straight to Danson. She's yeah. trying to, she's talking to him and she's like, do you know how to work on your chainsaw and everything? And When's the last time you lubricated this? Right, but that's not said yet. That's not how so you take care of your tools. this is where she pulls out from her purse her little, like, it looks oh, like a chef's, set. it looks tool like a wrap. chef's thing. <laughs> But it's tools instead of knives. It's very similar to the wrap that, um, uh, well, also, I'm getting there. Brendan Fraser uses in The Mummy, and it's full of guns. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, in uh, I just wanted to talk Exorcist. about Brendan Fraser. In The Exorcist, pick. he unrolls that thing, and it's got yeah. a couple of so different crosses. It That's might be Exorcist. used in everything. It might be a sequel. So yeah. it Your mother sews and... socks in hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm keeping it PG. Okay. So, fuck that. Uh, (laughs) So it flashes to that really quick. And she like rolls it out. And she's like, see, it's tools. And then it cuts back to that. What you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that happens after, but it doesn't really matter because who gives a shit? Well, no, because oh, it does not matter. But like, choose to watch the movie, and you can give a shit about this. He admits (laughs) you should watch the movie because only one of us here knows how to sing. And it's Jack, and I don't think he's gonna do all the songs. We didn't think it all. <laughs> I'll do that one over and over, baby. I don't know. I've never Should've heard you sing. You've heard me sing plenty. I've never times. really heard you sing. I've heard you say the words to songs. We didn't know. I don't do karaoke. We didn't know. We didn't love, know. We didn't know. We didn't think it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make that Patrick's right ringtone. <laughs> and that's how Patrick killed himself. And that's how Patrick got on this show. He didn't think at all. No. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> He, he used to watch good time picture <laughs> shows. He used to watch I, those old time picture I shows. I enjoyed the movies I watched. I went out of my way to enjoy them. And Speaking of which, now. starting on the 25th, Harbottle, which is our sponsor, by the way. Um, they're doing karaoke every other Saturday night. Starting okay. at 5. 5. 5 to 9. There we go. <laughs> the 25th is a I worked at 5 to 9. <laughs> We're going to be handing out flyers. At the craft crawl and be like, go to Harbottle after this. 
<laughs> well, that might actually work on drunk people. Yeah. <laughs> so it's four minutes away. So Absid admits Wait, to Pia us? now, like he's trying to get her to go with him. He's like, "You need to come with me." She's like, "Oh, she's yeah, like, we'll yeah, do a tour. We'll go to fucking Cleveland or wherever you're from. I think that's later, but you know what I mean." <laughs> And uh, I'm from another world. He's like, yeah, no, oh, he's, he's, he's not says, that far. I'm an alien. And she's like, <laughs> there's lots of English bands, which we talked about earlier. We're like, there's lots of English bands. Like, what about Menudo? Menudo. Not an English band. English not even classic. an English speaking band. Not even, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I mean, Ricky Martin spoke English later. Like, I'm Did sure he, he, though? Yeah, he's living yeah. La Vida Loca. Oh, Live, she bangs. Right, That's anyway. fucking Spanish. Living is English. <laughs> she she bangs. bangs is English. It's terrible English. Uh, great Spanish. English in my <laughs> look. You introduce me a girl and say she bangs. I'm in. Yep. Just kidding, wife. Hey, Sign she me smokes. Up. She not. pokes. All right. DMs are open. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, we keep cutting back and forth. Diane is helping with the chainsaw. Uh, Absid takes Pia up to the ship. Like they teleport up through the phone booth. Press it. And a couple of the guys from the pack see them go into the phone booth and then like Whoa. press eight and disappear. What yeah. the fuck just happened? And, Did it just go and, in there? Yeah, and they Keanu Reeves. <sighs> and uh, then Frankie comes out from, after, this is after the, last time we'll have to say it, Cotillion. Thank fucking God. <laughs> now, and wait, he, wait, wait. Was it during the Cotillion? I'm going <laughs> Frankie, to have to have, I'm going to need freak out control. Hey, 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 if you're going to make me suffer, I got to get my part in here too. Fair. Isn't this Fair. when he gets his like shrine to Dee Dee that he opens oh, up and yeah. gets to see? No, that comes up right now because first he dissolves, it's right after the Cotillion, he go, they go outside and then go back into the school. So they go outside and he tells that he's dissolving the pack. And no is this more, a day or night? No more uh, beatings. No more Dave. stompings. No more violence. No more violence. You know what I mean? Hard yeah. elbow. Yeah. Pushes Shoves the dude's people. face and says no more violence. Uh, he beats two of these guys up to prove his point how he's done beating people up. Yeah. Right. And then, they, and then we cut back again to Pia exploring the ship. And she's like just pressing beat boops and doing whatever. She's God knows her, what could happen. Did she touch the booby button? Yeah. Oh, yeah, instantly. Yeah. That's yeah, one the of the buttons. It's like the second thing she did. She walked in and yeah. she was hey, like. spaceship. Eat, 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 huh? Huh? <laughs> It'd be the first thing. I like I your honk better than my eater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went nipple tweet. I went, I went eater, full eater. boob. Yeah, honk, honk. honka honka. Yeah, sandbag. No, but yeah. Uh, I went for sandbag. It's like a bag of sand. <laughs> Have you ever touched a boob? You went for Iowa. <laughs> oh, I was right up in that Iowa. <laughs> and this is where we cut back to Frankie and his love locker. <laughs> Six lockers. It's a three yeah. by three. I like the yeah. love locker. I, I yeah, well, love locker. It's, it's, three, a, it's, it's his BDSM. Yeah, it's three lockers across, two lockers high. He opens the whole fucking face, and then it's like red velvet felt inside. Plastic. It's a jack off room. Yeah, you've got There's chains a on the wall room. around it. Yeah, the the chains are. Around I believe a this picture is how David Carradine died. <laughs> well, that's yes. it. that's what we were that's what we were saying was like it's like he just. He's got the chains around the pictures of Pia, and the wall is all padded and stuff. So it's like he just chains himself in there at night, and he's like, "Just get me in the morning when school starts." <laughs> <laughs> and this is when he goes into his great song, which is not uh, the the actor singing. Hell, fucking! No, I can't it's remember not. the name of the singer. Nature but of the Beast is Nature the song of the Beast. sung by the ex lead singer of Paul Revere and the Raiders. Yes. Which I don't know what that is. No but it's fucking great. clue. I will be on my way home tonight listening <laughs> to at least one song by I think you Paul one. Revere that, and the Raiders. That name of a band, by the way, doesn't make any fucking sense because Paul Revere was supposed to be the one trying to stop Raiders, right? Like he was like, the British are coming. The British are oh, coming. Oh, the band hates themselves. So, they just okay. fight all the time. So it's Paul Revere and the Redcoats. It's like, oh, no, he just calls, like, hey, there's a guitar solo coming. Like, fuck, dude, it's supposed to be a surprise. Wait for the drum solo. Oh, God damn it, Paul. <laughs> Fucking sourpuss. Sourpuss Paul. Well, then we have, like, he has this song, and it's it's him doing this like song by himself where his shirt disappears halfway through. Pants start getting oh, cut. Oh, pants are like pants are goes, from, goes from leather pants to freaking cut off jeans. Yeah, and there's, yeah. Like a, there's a puma, the pregnant puma. He went from Greece to like Robinson Caruso. Real quick, <laughs> Ooh, still still has call. the cock chain though going yes, around his thigh. Well, you gotta chain. keep that thing in check, Patrick. Hey. There's a there's Fuck, a. You can't let that beast out. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to. I mean, is the, the song details. about? It's the nature of the beast. 
when there's and all of a sudden two backup dancers come out of nowhere. Yeah, Which, sharing one pair of pants. Yeah, well, <laughs> each one, each one. Well, they're sharing two pairs of pants because no, each one, one has one pant leg, and the, and then the other leg is like a, it's a, a fishnet. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, they, so one has one half they're of sharing the fishnet. Hose, they're sharing yeah. leather pants. Gotcha. Yeah. They rip their fishnet in half. They rip their leather pants in half. Just enough to cover each <laughs> giant. It's a good thing they're the same size. And then they have like the the tiger kind of had, like, tiger stripe shirts tiger on. Tiger uppercut. Tiger. Didn't it have like the claw <laughs> shredding in the shirt? You like betcha. Where it's... Sorry. To That's the nature of the. There were so many good much. intricate details to this Sonic movie. Boom because... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I kicked the table. I'm sorry. I had to sonic boom. Oh, when I kicked that's the because table. Kiker rules. Kiker and we're, rules. And we're about to get to why we well, can yeah, say so, that. <laughs> well, the, well, first, we have the pack just walking along being like, man, he dissolved the band and now we can't be a band anymore. Not understanding that you don't need he that one He doesn't care guy. about us. He's a garbage man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Then we get into the garbage man rant. He threw us away like, like garbage man. Okay, so we saw yeah. garbage yeah. puns yeah. by saying... Yeah. There's still the guy in the sand, and that's found before the guy. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's they true. they come up to the guy who's still still in the sand, and he says, "Oh, he's he mumbles." Rrr, 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 rrr. But they're like, "Yeah, yeah you're he right. doesn't, he care, doesn't, about doesn't us. care." But this guy starts with, "He thinks we're garbage," but even last week's garbage can still make it a stink. And like, all right, stink. that's weird. And it does not Dude, stop. It does not three, stop. three minutes. And, it, and it's not if even like... If a garbage man comes to try and take me out, this garbage will fight fucking back. I've got my own compactor for that garbage. I'll take, the garbage the man. Car, I'll take him to the jump. <laughs> Dude. And it goes on and on and on. It's like if you gave me some whiskey and was like, hey, make garbage puns. I'm like, all right, I got That's the thing three is minutes. it's like It's like three puns yeah. and then it just says garbage job. man for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 97 minute movie and 37 minutes is this guy saying garbage man it's a fucking two hour <laughs> podcast isn't it minutes. it's fine it'll be cut down yeah. <laughs> well I've heard that before <laughs> we'll cut it into two episodes that might have to be done here so I, I was worried that four people might be too much the yeah. worst movie well, well I talk for, I talk for two <laughs> I talk. five people might be too much five people too much <laughs> candy counts She's like looking at me right now, like, dude. These are, so movie, when these are movies leave? I get excited about. It's oh, fine. Same. I told my dad about the podcast, and he was like, "Oh, how long is it?" And I was like, "Well, the shortest one's an hour, the longest one's two and a half." And he was like, "Jesus Christ!" And I was <laughs> Sorry, like, pops. I was like, "You don't listen to them beginning to end." Yeah, take some like, time. Welcome to the real world, Boomer. No, take I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Heard a pause button, Boomer. I, I love you, Dad. <laughs> He's not gonna listen. <laughs> they might subscribe they might rate but they are this not this is how listen. you find out that you just fucking start firing shots at your dad and if he never says anything like oh yeah you must not have heard episode 5 then piece of shit nine. <laughs> whatever uh, 11 11 actually whoa 9-11 <laughs> oh, oh shit uh, this will be never either. forget never forget always remember always the rock always wait, remember revenge wait what are we watching <laughs> 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 Revenge of the Rock Aliens. Forced yes. Vengeance. <laughs> That's the sequel. <laughs> Revenge of the Rock Aliens. They come back like, dude, we fixed your planet and you uh, fucked it up harder. She didn't love me enough. She didn't love it we all. We fixed your planet and you still elected Trump and now your world's going to end. <laughs> uh, I don't sorry, like man. those rock aliens. <laughs> Frozen Best aliens food ever. textile factories by the lake. Those rock aliens are the gayest aliens and I don't want gay aliens on my planet. If I didn't want rock aliens, I would use bleach on them. <laughs> sure I might hold a bible upside down but that guy came out of the tube upside down we need to build a wall in space to keep these aliens out Make space will pay, pay for, for it, it. <laughs> Mars will pay for the wall alright so Absinthe invites Pia to go to his planet with him every time you say Absinthe I think you're saying Absinthe <laughs> that's fine yeah. I don't want to say ABCD yeah so actually on IMDB it says ABSID <laughs> Yeah, Absid. <laughs> on, on IMDb, ABCD is ABCSID. <laughs> you said that PDQ. For the FBI, the CIA. Uh, yeah, for the VIP keeping the QT. <laughs> and like, she, she loses her shit. Say. She's like, yes, we can go to your planet, we can record an album, we you can make t-shirts and deal. posters, a book deal. Fuck and yeah, this chick is... This chick is moist for fame. Yes, she oh is ready to be God. famous. She's like, I fucked an alien. Flooded. Like <laughs> this is a this is this is what should have been an Independence Day resurgence is someone who's like, I fucked that alien. <laughs> I mean, I guess they kind of did that in uh, Shaun of the Dead, right? Speaking of Edgar, right? The girl's like, 
I mean, he's he's still my boyfriend, ain't he? Yeah. He's a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> Edgar you're right. It's in our vows that he will kill me if I'm a zombie. But guess what he fucking said two years later? Amendment? I'm going to put her in a shed, like fucking... Uh, yeah, dude, like, sh- like Shaun like of the Dead. Yeah. Shed yeah, like play Ed. a little fucking video I'll have two Nick sheds. Frost. I'll have two sheds. One with the wife, and we can watch movies, and one with... Patrick, and we can play video games. I'm assuming I won't be a zombie, but I will because I'm weak and, and lame. Oh, I'm fucked. I just got out on so you. fucking high and drunk. <laughs> I mean, the front window of this house is gigantic. Yeah. Yeah, but it's double paned. Yeah, that's not going to stop a zombie. They don't know. You well, see those zombies not, in but... Shaun of the Dead tear that fucking douchebag apart? <laughs> Plus, yeah, also, if flesh, one zombie glass. couldn't do it, a bunch Well, they could. broke through glass first. Yeah. Yeah. Single pane. Anyway. <laughs> so here's where he tells her she has to get an emolectomy. Which at first I was like, did he say emo lectomy? Because that would be a great thing for some people I knew in high school. Like, get that emo out you of you. You cannot listen to emo anymore, dude. You had an emo lectomy. You are on to soft jazz. Yeah. Cheer There's up, you grumpy fuck. No more Jimmy Eat World for you. Only Yanni. I love you. Is Jimmy Eat World emo? Yeah. Is it? Dude, no. one of their biggest songs is called Pain. Another big song says... What is the one? Uh, the I hear the emo. Girl. I think like dashboard confessional. Thank you. Yes. Well, yeah, his yeah, version but of emo is different. Than I think our like what, of emo. any born without any, bones, any all kinds like of shit. punk rock, like pop punk ripoff where they go and talk about emotions is emo. I, I like Jimmy Eat World. I like that one You're album. You're such at least. a fucking musical boomer. No, Anything I like talk that. about emotions. Also, that's I, literally every song. You know, full <laughs> full disclosure here for everybody. In high school, when emo was a thing. I was the new metal kid. I had the Jinko pants and the fucking like Pantera shirt and the corn shirt and the uh, the band that shall not be named shirt. You were you were late to that show because when I was a freshman, I had the Jinkos. I had the real Jinkos, the ones that were Same. 72 inches at the bottom. You guys Jan weren't there CO. yet. <laughs> no, you guys weren't there yet. You guys had the baggy pants that said Jinko. No, I had the big 72-inch flare-outs. My, doesn't matter. My it's a pants-showing contest. Rave yes. pants. You know how fashion love is cyclical? I'd love to just whip my dick out on this. You know how but... fashion is cyclical? Yeah. Their Jinko's not coming back. No. They tried. <laughs> They tried last uh, year. Actually, we actually moved on from Jinko. It was the kickwear. Those were like kickwear, the raver there, pants. Yeah. With the, yeah, I sucked. So <laughs> I'm not saying it was a good thing. I'm saying this is why I'm like, fuck emo, even though now I'm totally like, Jimmy, world's awesome. Shut up. Like, <laughs> I have emotions. But no, that song man. about like, you know, you're in the middle. You're the girl that's a something. I don't fucking, I can't okay, be the lyrics anyway. right the songs now. by so, the band doesn't matter. much better so than this So this is where she's like, movie. she's like, well, if I don't have emotions, then we can't have sex. Because I don't know if we mentioned emolectomy is taking out your emotions. Yeah. It and makes that's it why easier. you get the bindi uh, in your forehead. It makes then, it yes. easier, especially during tax season. And, yes. During tax season. <laughs> that's another David Letterman joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got any gum? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's like, well, if we don't have emotions, how do, we're not going to be able to have sex. And he's like, no, we have sex every night. Almost. Almost, almost every, every night. night. Almost, almost Monday. Monday. Almost so, but we're Tuesday. saying these, this, the, 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 they don't have sex, though? That's what like, I didn't quite understand. Like, wait, do they just have sex late every night? It's like, I'd like oh, to think it's, it's a funny it's, joke, and they do have all kinds of sex, like, anytime you're fucking backed orgies. up. I think you're that's just, what they're going well, it's for. Not, it's, like, it's not emotional. So you just walk by somebody like, you want to have sex? No? How about you? Yeah, you? Okay. Procreation. It's like yeah. the version of uh, the, you know, every day that ends in Y joke, but it's from their planet, and the yeah. planet's cheesy, so it's worse. <sighs> yep. Oh, you know, that's, okay. That's what I go with. And right. so she's, like, freaks out at this point. She's like, I can't leave forever. Like, you know, I, I, I can't never see Spielberg again. I can't, I can't <laughs> didn't you, didn't you hear Frankie? about that new movie he's I'll making? I'll miss Spielberg's work. Didn't you hear about that movie with the dinosaurs? Oh, I mean, that's like Spielberg 10 years out. Friends. I know, but and... <laughs> she But she it. does say, I'll never see Frankie again. That can't happen. Yeah. yeah. No, fuck no. Let's get that. He's got that sweet dick. Mm. That ass. You're Keeping it, it what did they say? down. He's holding a dollar fifteen in his butt cheeks. A dollar fifteen and change between yeah. those cheeks. Like <laughs> that guy could pay any parking meter. And they're different sized, like yeah, absolutely. There's that's a how quarter, you de- a nickel, and a dime. That's they how you slide get definition. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> most of it's most of it's pennies. So it's the butt's tight, but there's a gap. Uh, <laughs> 
So Diane, we go back. Diane's still fix, fixing the fucking chainsaw. Little this is when she's like, when, when was the last Diane. time you lubed this thing? And he's like, <laughs> and she throws away this like brand new looking chain. You can like, cut the sexual tension with a broken chainsaw. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah, they're clearly that. falling in love. <laughs> Breather. Now attacks Frankie in the hallway. Stupid fight. Yeah. It's, it's with a cheap. knife. Yeah, he comes at him with a knife. And Frankie, instead of walking briskly, which was all it would take Away. to escape this guy, he just keeps backing up and going, stop, stop. I have friends. Don't do this. I, you I don't know You don't know who's people. backing me up. No one now. You know yeah, what? You dissolved him, bitch. Mild jog. Jog less than Candy Bandolier and you yeah. can get away. Yeah. Candelier. Yeah. <laughs> Can't Can't get you a Butterfinger and get fucking stepping, pal. <laughs> Fuck. Right? Uh, now the gang, the pack, finally finds the phone booth. And they, they keep going and fucking with it. And Dino goes in and he's the one who hits the button and disappears. And the one of the guys, the blonde blonde flock of seagulls dude. With his, this, this blonde straight up seagulls. Mis- well, it's, I want to say flock of seagulls because of the blonde. But Do you it, know that he the, is? It's the straight up misfits. Like, Do you know that he is girl. Jimmy? Like Egon? He's Jimmy from Jimmy the Mustangs. I had a feeling yeah. he was. Oh, like, that's he? Him. Okay. Yeah, that's I thought him. you meant from Jimmy Neutron. I was like, no. same well, haircut. Yeah, same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> fucking another thing that got inspired by this. Oh. Uh, Jimmy, then, fucking, fucking hair guy. <laughs> Jimmy the Mustang. He's got his hair back guy. to the phone booth, and one of the other guys is like, hubba-da, hubba-da, hubba-da. Hum, like, hum, he's hum, like, hum, no, hum, this hum. thing is bullshit. Oh, he's like, no, Dino just disappeared. Yeah, and so he turns around. At that moment, they realize, oh, they're from another world. Yeah, so I'm very confused here because yeah. the last time we saw Pia and Absid, they were on the ship, and Pia said she was going to leave. Yeah. And then we have the pack using the teleporter to get up to the ship. Well, she, never- was, on, she was on call waiting. Oh, okay. Because I was like, never once did they cross nine. paths. Star 6 9 Well, I'd start 6 9 that. Uh, yeah, I'd start 6 yeah. 9 the show. I'd start 4 one, one I mean, I'll just 6 9 I need to know what's going on. I'll make up the height this. difference by lunging forward. I'll pound six nine that way. Oh, I bet you hashtag six nine pounds. Hashtag, hashtag her too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might have to cut that. <laughs> nope. Uh, but yeah, somehow she gets back to Earth because she goes to Frankie now. She finds him getting attacked by Breather. But like, I guess maybe those guys all teleported up at the exact same yeah. moment that her and Absent were teleporting down. Like it said, doesn't make waiting. sense and it doesn't matter. Some we love it. He didn't teleport back. He stayed up there because he. Well, he didn't the... stay up there the whole time because they discovered their ship trashed in a couple of minutes. I still well, he think called the rest him. of the group up. I don't think so, so. he wasn't... No, I think he's on the ship. Which he's not in the room. main yeah. hall. Yeah. It doesn't they definitely matter. tagged us. And this, by the way, <laughs> is where we get Kiker, Kiker rules. rules. Spray painted yeah. on the side the of the wall. The ship is trashed. Kiker rules. It says things you know, like, just, we hate uh, the alphabet. Hashtag creeps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I love that. It was like, like down with the alphabet. People creeps. or creeps, yeah. I think it was like added because they were like, maybe we don't want. But people so Kiker think- rules is, is spray painted, and we yes. found out that is the prop master. Yeah. yeah. So, so this dude, 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 dude I think Kiker does fucking. Rule. But you know I what? think we would all, yeah, Kiker does rule. But I think Kiker. we'd all do this. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, if I'm prop master, I'm putting my name on some of your shit, Fuck, dude. Yeah, I am. Um, and then orange also, tang all over you. Uh, when orange when Pia tang. gets to the school to find Frankie, like she finds the uh, breather attacking him, she runs. The tentacle is wrapped around the school. Breathe, breathe. The giant tentacle is wrapped around the entire school. Yeah. She just pushes it out of the way and runs under it as if it's nothing. Yeah. Like, it's like, this has happened before. She's the chosen one. <laughs> hey, after is being, yeah, after being out. out of the water so long, that tentacle's not going to have the good suction cup <laughs> power that you expect it to have. I mean. Yeah, she pushes it, and then, like, they, uh, he kills, or, yeah, he stabs, he takes the knife, or he fights the knife away from Breather and, like, stabs Oh, he has a line. What do you like? He 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 had, yeah, he had, uh, Breather attacks with the knife, and he uses the, the electrical cord. But he's got a pun here. With fucking like, thing AC? for like five oh, miles. DC, DC, or DC? AC, DC. You go both, both ways. Both yeah. ways. And he slices through his own cord and shocks himself. Because, you and know. then no Bummer. power, so he can't breathe. Look He's at done. Frankie and look at what year it is. He's all, he knows all about ACDC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. He's a genius. <laughs> not oh, the band. The band. God, no, is. not the band. Oh, I'm, he's a big power plant. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking more like he fucks them both. <laughs> I'm sexy to both sexes. With that ass, you know. He I is. mean, we all commented at the beginning of the movie. Well, not Patrick. He wasn't there yet. <laughs> she was. She was talking about which one made her hot, whatever. And you're like, which one? And she's like, both. Both. And dude, everybody's oh, yeah. just like, mm-hmm. couple of fucking smoke shows hanging uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes. 
So then they have to fight the tentacle. Like they're trying to like knock it off of them. And, she like, bites she it, fights, like, fighting yeah, Pia, in the gym room. Yeah, Pia bites into it, and they get into the gym. Yeah, and uh, we cut back to Diane finally fixing the chainsaw. Third story. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all about to tie back together, which is how it nah. should go. You've got your A story, your B story, your C story, and then at the end, it all cut. ties together. Here comes Chernobyl's, Chernobyl's chainsaw. chainsaw. Chernobyl's chainsaw comes around. Uh, she fixes the chainsaw and she's like, there, it should be all good. It's like shiny and brand new. It's not rusty and busted like it was. Like she polished it too. <laughs> and I put it back together and put a fresh coat of paint on it. My favorite thing is this guy who said almost nothing in this movie other than, can you hold on a minute? Yep. It's just like gnarly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he goes to pull the chainsaw. He pulls the cord once and he's like, no, wait. He hands it to her and she's like, you want me to get the first pull? And he's just like, yeah, tug it. <laughs> so much symbolism in this movie. Oh yeah, there. This is Ooh, all fashion that symbology. Yeah. She gets him going. <laughs> she gets his emotional On support the first going. Tug. <laughs> right, right. Yep, yeah, first tug. Oh yeah, she's a quick tugger. Off. She's like, I'm back. And then he starts cutting through the wall because they're like, oh shit, I hear Pia and Frankie. You know, let's see what's wrong. And he, he cuts through the wall. Him. And he gets through the wall while they're fighting. They're using like the weight machine to yeah. fight off the fucking tentacle and stuff. And he comes through finally, and he chops off just like the tip, just the just tip. The oh wait, tip. we we she bites it. First. Yeah, we said that. Yeah. Did did yeah. you say she during, bit it? Oh, during yeah. the fight, Dee Dee bites Whitney's it. Which I wouldn't fucking bite that thing. Like I, I told you guys, when we were watching this. That water melted a surfboard. But life or death, acid mouth. I don't know. You bite it, your teeth are gone, your tongue is gone. What's the point of living? Yeah, but it's been out. You're, just walking, out. you're worse than Fire Marshal Bill. You're just like, I'm, I'm Pia Zadora. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess she could gum her way bitch. through life. Hell yeah. <laughs> she could still be a famous singer. Just, <laughs> whoa. All right. Um, that's how they all got famous. Ask uh, Weinstein. So he oh, cuts hey. the tip off. And bubbles come spraying out of it. And you can see that it's like a bubble gun. It's a bubble gun. It's somebody's little kid's like bubble gun they got on set. <laughs> it's great. This will do. And then Diane and Chainsaw, like, he's like, she's like, do you want to come with me or something? He's you like, want to go for a long walk? Yeah. yeah. He's like, I uh, sure would. Or I don't know. And now, they leave together. Now, emotional he development. Puts, he puts the chainsaw mm, down. That she just he spent no an hour longer needs on it. because she was an fixing hour. him. She was yeah, fixing an him. Hour. And now chainsaw doesn't need his emotional support chainsaw anymore. He doesn't need his his uh, detachable penis. Here's the moral of the story: detachable you don't penis. need to kill people. If you're getting, <laughs> you don't need to kill people if you're getting laid. That's the moral of the true. story. Yeah. That's that's why Jason so, and Michael and Freddie are all so mad. These kids yeah. fuck and they kill them. Yeah. They don't fuck. There's another movie called Edge of the Axe. Is and it, I was like, is that the same thing? Because it says Edge. <laughs> and Has anybody tried to fuck them? Oh, why what's, would you? What's the term they Stop use in the Mormon people. community? Well, Freddy's a dream Soaking. <laughs> so how's Soaking. Like, oh, yeah. Wet we, we just We just heard... What did we just watch or listen to where someone ended up talking about that the soaking thing and they were like it's where you just put it in and leave it there oh shit no thrusting it might have been in Letterkenny <laughs> yeah it Ooh, is Letterkenny I think it's one of the later seasons of Letterkenny you they mentioned the soaking and you, don't move. and you just don't move yeah so they leave together Absent <laughs> comes so Absent does leave the ship because he comes in and sees uh, Frankie and Pia Starting to like, she's like, she oh, says, Oh, you're so it. down to earth yeah. because she couldn't be with an alien. Uh huh. And they start she making out. Leave Spielberg. Yeah, and he gets sad and he leaves. And we have like another pointless scene with the sheriff who has no, she's comic relief in a movie that's all comic relief. Yeah. yeah. Like we cut to her and she's like, We're going to get him now. And she's got a steamroller. Steamroller with a bazooka attached to it. <laughs> and and there's that's the a equalizer. callback to the bazooka that uh, Chainsaw and Breather were trying to yeah, get. Yeah, Chainsaw never went and picked it up. Oh, so. we didn't talk about this, but they, she sees these criminally insane people with a basket full of machine guns. And oh, yeah, that. yeah. And a she goes, trolley? Yeah, a trolley. And she says, Keep up Speaking the good work. Right. Well, <laughs> way, way to exercise our Second, Second Amendment. Amendment. Yeah. That's yeah. some good old boys. Yeah. Just Never do so it. They're, no they're, they're on their steamroller, and the deputy's like, I don't know how this works. And she's like, How hard can it be? And she starts going, and these delivery driver guys like walk in front of her, and she's like, Move! And they don't hear her, and he, she rolls right over them, ah. and they get flattened like a cartoon. And of course, the delivery company is Acme. Acme. <laughs> And that, you know, comes to nothing. But I guess, yeah. like I said when we were watching it, 
They paid for one flat thing, and like Fathead was like, "Look, buy two, get one we free." We figured out this technology, dude. We could print three of these things. If well, actually, like. they didn't even need three; they were pressed together. So it was like, "Hey, buy one, get one." Yeah. Like, yeah well, then we'll take the second one. Let's get me two Acme drivers. Let's get a good one in there. You got to pay for the two Acme drivers. It's bigger. You get uh, fucking Absid. You for got free. Absid for free. Then this is where the fire hydrant robot is sitting there who, uh, we, you know, welcome back to the movie. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, he's movie one. And a dog walks up and you're like, oh, here comes the dog. This the is the payoff. On him. Yep. Wrong. Nope. This Everything poor fucking dog for. is like, like if this was Candy, she would have run the fuck away. <laughs> fire hydrant this pisses on, on the dog. dog. It's great. Yeah. And it's like, and it's like apologizing too. It's like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Like it's saying stuff to the dog. The dog's trying to walk away and it's just following. <laughs> the dog. Uh, poor dog. I didn't oh stay to the goodness. end of. The, uh, I think we stayed to the end of the credits. I didn't notice that no dogs were harmed. Uh, <laughs> no dogs. Yeah, you didn't need it back now. then. That this is Milo is, notice time. The dog is now in therapy. <laughs> this is pre Milo notice, I think. Uh, so the the whole band goes back to the ship and they see it's all trashed, which we already kind of covered. And the, one of the pack members is still there. He's in the slide, like passed out. So Steve, Steve, yeah, and they're like, we're gonna, yes, and they're like, we're gonna kill him. Like we're gonna disassemble, fucking disassemble him. Yeah. And Absid has a change. He's like, no, send him home because he's Where heartbroken. He, he said, where um, he belongs. And then uh, D and Frankie have another Galaxy song Quest. now. <laughs> Yes, it this is exactly. Act, actually, by the way, this Soul song Tom. that they have is uh, "Rain Begins to Fall." Rain begins to fall. Reprise. Yep. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that Frankie is just lip syncing. This movie is sandwiched Jackson. with this fucking song. <laughs> yes. Like lip Frankie syncing is, and not blinking. Yeah, Frankie is singing Jermaine Jackson's part, but it's still just Jermaine Jackson's voice. And I'm sorry, but. <laughs> There's no way Frankie sounds like no Jermaine fucking Jackson. way, no way. And it's like one of those fucking uh, '80s or '90s like mall music videos where like and I never we, I didn't experience that here, but I've seen it in movies. The booth. And stuff. yeah, where you go into the booth and you like sing, <laughs> and there's like changing video. backgrounds and shit. It looks so fucking bad. Early green screen. It, it's it's the worst. And uh, Absent is watching the music video on his like fucking TV up in the ship, and. He decides he's going to use his alien whatever to make some changes on the oh, planet. Oh, uh, hold on. Nope. He says Casio. Spielberg could use a little alien persuasion. Yes, alien persuasion. So he he changes. The pack is going to go like, hey, we're going to go fuck up Frankie. And they go start going after him. And he changes them all into Boy Scouts. Yeah, let's go see if we can find a, a bird for him to watch with us. It'd be great. Let's go do the bird watch with us. Let's go do some bird he's, watching. He's even got like, a Dean list. Frankie are banging he's, right now. Oh, this is a, <laughs> let's go find him and, and fucking Didi and see if they're screwing. Go watch a bird. <laughs> I can't like. And like... He I don't know about fixes... bird watching, but I'd like to see a swallow. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he fixes the lake, and then the tentacle monster holds mouse. up the sign. <laughs> the tentacle monster got the sign that's like Loch Ness or bust because he Log fixes it. the lake. It's out of here with yeah. the suitcase. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so then yeah, that's they. That's basically it. Like, oh, you keep seeing a flower blooming, which is like a metaphor for her finally getting laid, I guess. Yeah, which you're not hanging out with this guy keeping your virginity. Or no. that, or that they're fixing fucking. the Dude, I've watched this. She was such a fame fucker from the gig. I watched, I watched saw this. what she was going to do to that guy for a book deal. Yeah. I watched this 97-minute movie, and Frankie took my virginity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And then the alien ship, like the neck of the guitar bends like a swan and the they ship goes into... They finally let Stovitz yeah. drive. Yeah, yes. Stovitz gets to drive and they zoom off into space and we get credits and we get two of the same songs we've already heard, which is great. It's the happiest I've seen Patrick with these <laughs> credits come up. The movie's over again, again, again. Yay! <laughs> so, Around the Horn, I recommend this movie if you want to watch something cheesy and entertaining. Two thumbs up for me. Patrick? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you can live without this movie. No. Look, I live in two eras of life. Real quick. Sorry, Jack. No, you're good. I have... We didn't think it all. <laughs> I have BVA... B, BVRA and AVRA. Before... Voyage of the Rock Aliens and after. after. Voyage of the Rock Aliens. Uh. I now live in another era of life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so for me, full recommend. And I yes. don't like musicals very much at all. 
this kind of came upon me with watching with like friends musicals at all. and the, the, <laughs> the songs did it for me but like it's, it's fucking fun man Justin. yeah and hey, does it make sense no uh is it goofy fuck yes. yeah yeah and will I, I watch it again you betcha and if i will you admit want, you no. own a shirt <laughs> if you want to just sit there and ponder the world and how somebody can come up with anything like this. <laughs> Watch this movie. I'm not arguing. You think that. someone thought of it? Because they didn't think it all. No, <laughs> no, they didn't. You like, know, I and and different from you, we've talked about this at work before. I know you're not a fan of musicals. I am a fan of later musicals. Early musicals are hard for me. West Side Story I can deal with, uh, but yeah. most of it's got to be much later. Like, I mean, Phantom of the Opera is one of the earlier I can deal the with. The woman it's in got white. That 80s synth thing mixed <laughs> yeah, in. what came first? Or this or the Phantom, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera? Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. What? It was also an eighties thing because it's oh, got well, the, that's an old the, story. The no, synth guitar the actual, or the synth oh, keyboard. Gotcha, gotcha. And, that thing. I mean, the story. Yeah, the story was adapted, but I mean, the actual music, the Stephen Sondheim musical. That's the whole. <laughs> Take off that mask. That nose better be piggy. Did she just growl at you? Not at me. Katie. At Derek or something Derek's doing. I think it's Shadow on the Wall. <laughs> so, that would have made a good song. But title. yeah, uh, anyway. Shadow on the Wall. <laughs> she didn't me. buck it all. I do like musicals. This isn't really a musical. It's more of just a movie with music videos in it. <laughs> Rock opera. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah rock like, well, like we said, these songs, Jesus Christ Superstar. In a musical, the songs to generally tell a portion of the story, and in True. this one, only two of the songs really related to the story, other than like tangential. Big facts. I miss ninjas suffice. stealing cocaine. Yeah, as you're true. That's right. You know what? The yes, I recommend it. The conclusion to this entire rant at the end is a simple yes or no would have sufficed. Yep. Yes, yes, no, yes. <laughs> Don't fucking sing at me, bro. <laughs> so if Don't if anybody. <laughs> If anybody is interested, some plugs for things we don't have anything to do with. It is available on Tubi with commercials. It is available on Blu-ray via Vinegar Syndrome. I recommend buying it because I'm a piece of shit. And Yeah, uh, same. I echo. Next week will be our first Schlock and Load episode. Uh, Jack and one of our other co-workers, Ben, ben getting way too drunk and slapping the microphone around like it's fucking... Not both of us. <laughs> one of us. Slapping the microphone around like it's Zia Pia Zahora like, in this movie. Like and he he's owes Frankie. him money. <laughs> Caress- Stop Don't touching touch it. it. <laughs> I'm anyway, caressing it. That'll be the next episode after this. And uh, after that, I think I'm going to do Leprechaun in space for, for St. Patrick's me. Day. Because Are you getting in on this? I just I watched all we seven. We need our orange tang on this. <laughs> I am the world's tallest leprechaun. I just watched all our six leprechaun movies uh, because Peacock had them all available for Halloween time, which you know doesn't make sense. It does, but it doesn't. Completionist. Yeah, yeah, and I watched them all. I didn't. I say them all. There are eight. I yeah. watched the six that have fucking Warwick Davis. I didn't watch the two other ones because I was that's like, fair. that's enough. That's um, my original plan was to watch all eight, and then I watched Back to the Hood, and I was like, Mm-mm, I'm Can't done. Can't do it. But yeah, Leprechaun in Space is one of my favorites. I think it's hilarious. Wait, wait, wait. Leprechaun in the Hood or Leprechaun Back to the Hood? Back to the Hood okay. was the one that made me want to kill myself. Right. In the Hood was good. <laughs> Leprechaun in the Hood and Leprechaun in Space are the best. Bad, good, not good, bad. <laughs> no, they're they're good, bad, bad, good, good, bad, bad, good. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that's that. Check us out on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, uh, follow us on, or subscribe on YouTube, send us an email, badmoviesworstpeople at gmail.com. You can follow me on my way home. Follow Jack home. Follow Are you Jack stalking me? Because that'd be great. Go to our website, badmoviesworstpeople.com. You can find all the links to everywhere you can see us and follow us and stalk us, but also click that big blue t-shirt in the middle of the screen and go buy a shirt or a sticker or a magnet. Magnets are like three bucks. I don't care. Buy something. It'll be awesome. And uh, that's going to be it. Oh, I do want to also still thank Evasion. They provided our opening and closing music for free. Great local band. This episode. Golf Club. Golf Club. Golf Club. This episode will be coming out after the concert, so I'm not going to plug their concert. But you should have seen them on February 25th oh, if you didn't get a bad person. Fantastic. Not a worse person. <laughs> and that's it for this week. I have been Derek. I have been Whitney. Tip your need- damn bartenders. I need a pee, but I'm Patrick. I'm I, Jack. Thanks for having me. I still have to pee, too. So, uh... Race you to the bathroom. Good night, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
Kermit the Frog here. I'm moving right along. <laughs> Settle down when you sit. Don't talk to me like that, bitch.